Hello everybody, how are you guys doing today? Welcome back, welcome back to another stream. We're gonna be playing some Frozenheim. This is the first time that I'm gonna be playing this. I already bought the game uh, ages ago, but I haven't actually ever played it. Now, this is, I believe, a uh, city builder, um, but also with invasions, or I believe you can also raid other settlements in the game. So it's going to be quite interesting. A Viking sort of, um, well, it's probably going to be a, going to be a more bu city building slash raiding other villages sort of Valheim, but then except except for all the strange creatures, I'm guessing. <laughs> it's going to be more uh, humanoid enemies and raiding those villages and i think that will be a lot of fun we'll see what happens let's start a single player game and okay we have a campaign a skirmish survival mode city building mode i'm guessing we're just gonna go and do the campaign i'm not sure what to expect so we'll start out with that good to see everybody here already uh, 20 people watching in total that's insane thank you guys for being here smashing that like button subscribing and following that is awesome thank you guys so much i see mr fox is here stormy cat solar demos uh drag aka Rash gresham uh, mr kingbo is here as well da vinci i've seen in the chat thank you guys for being here um, I thought you were doing a modded Valheim. That didn't sound like the booster I know. <laughs> well, it, it does very much sound like Valheim, doesn't it? Frozenheim, Valheim. It sounds like a uh, like the deep north or the mountain biome Valheim or something like that. <laughs> yeah, no, it is a totally different game. More city building, uh, as far as I know. All right, Purple Gav Boy, good to see you as well. Welcome. All right, campaign full. This is the saga of Gorm, a young and fierce Jarl who is about to face a great challenge, and it all begins with a meeting with, uh, with a meeting with his brother, with his blood brother, Erland. All right, cool, cool. Um, let me see. Is the audio fine? I I took down the audio uh, at ten percent because I felt what like it was a little bit loud in the beginning let me know if the uh, music is too loud or not loud enough and i'll change it up for you and let's um i guess let's just start so this is the campaign looks like there's four tutorial missions i'm guessing and then you go over to the mainland and there there's a bunch more to do looks like so we're gonna be here for a while Hello there, Mark H. Fulfill the vill villagers' needs to increase house happiness. All right, for Valhalla. <coughs> oh, it looks good. The legend of a holy tree giving knowledge to those most worthy has spread among your people. Our people. It is said that only the finest warriors may meet the gods and bring their generous blessings back to the lands. Okay, interesting. Special tree. I guess that's this one. But right, it's just uh, an indicator for spring. Food production plus 15% increased virility. Utility. All right. Objectives, homecoming. Find your way back to your settlement. 
It's very bright, isn't it? Wow. Let me see if I can quickly adjust something. Um, oh, no, that's wrong. <laughs> Changing the brightness of my monitor for a little bit. There we go. Don't think it matters much, but it will be a slight improvement, I believe. Alright, let's go. Uh... Alright, find your way back to your settlement. Okay. I didn't know I was lost. Alright, look at us. So tiny. Oh, you can zoom all the way in. That's pretty cool. This is like a uh, bandits camp. Okay. Visited. A hideout for bandits who raid nearby villages. Mm -hmm. Let's move. Or maybe we should explore first. Oh, what is that? Didn't mean to do that. Can we go up here? Ah, that won't be possible. Let's make sure we explore the area first. Might be something important that we're otherwise missing out on. I got it. Can we go down here? All right. I guess we're just going this way then. Seems like the obvious choice to go. The obvious way to go, I mean. What do we have all up here? It's like a village name, I'm guessing. One out of 20, team limit. Uh, three available battle units. Oh, there you go. We got some wolves out there. All right, they're easily slaughtered. Awesome. What well, it was like five wolves. All right, we're pretty strong then. As you wish. New hair? Nah, not not really. Just uh, just put a comb for my hair just before the live stream. <laughs> it was a little bit messy. Just put some water and comb and just comb it backwards. It's getting too long. I need to cut it again. I think. Your hair also grows out again. Are you getting a cut or... Or do... Or it does suit you? Uh, I think I will I will cut it soon. I, I like having my hair... On my way. A little shorter. That's, I don't really like this fog of war. But I guess that is sort of normal for games like this. Oh, is there something there? I'm probably just supposed to follow this road. I, got it. I just want to make sure I don't miss anything. <laughs> oh wait, what is that? Oh, it's just flowers. Never mind. Let's follow the road. Doesn't seem like there's anything important. Exploration. During exploration, various structures and enemies may be encountered on the map. Interactions with them can provide perks, resources, and quests. Right. So we can interact with this. Maybe. Maybe. Abandoned watchtower, a tall tower used for guarding the neighborhood. All right. All right. Did that do anything for me? Oh, did it? Did it give me uh, a greater area to see? I didn't notice them doing anything with it. But it looks like there's something there. Are those mine? No, they're probably enemies, but they're level 5. They're way too strong. 
I don't think I can handle those. I got it. Don't think it's a good thing to interact with those. Cover. Hide your units in foliage in the forest and let them pass enemies undetected. Huh. Oh. All right, let's go um, this way, probably. Let's go all the way around. <clears throat> Good to see you, KJ, Da Vinci, Bluebell. Welcome, everybody. So, I see this game on Steam and the, uh, and the strategy tactics. Which one is it? Or is it both? I don't know, this is the first time I'm playing this game. So I'm guessing it's uh, I'm guessing it's both. Strategy and tactics. I mean one should not one does not have to exclude the other. Strategy and tactics is basically the same thing. I'm sure there's a different definition for both words, but it's pretty much just the same thing. All right, we made it past. <clears throat> All right, there we go, making it back to our village. Odin be praised for his protection. We are home at last. Yeah, awesome. We made it home. Workers, in order to collect and process resources. Oh, I could not see that. Um, can I bring back that menu somehow? H maybe for help or something, no? Ah, there we go. Um in order to collect and process resources, workers have to be assigned to buildings. Workers can be assigned via the building panel or quick menu, which is accessible via the alt key. By the alt key? Okay, that's weird. Workplace can be changed via the building panel. Okay. That's a bit odd. Alright, All right, let's go. Construct a woodcutter's hut. Reach Jarl Erland uh, settlement. Now, we're probably going to have to use the boat for that, I'm guessing. Right, what is this? There are no workers assigned. These are the workers, I'm guessing. Or these are scouts. Right. All right, we need to construct something. Uh, so we need to go into social buildings, food production buildings, production buildings, and military buildings. Let's go into production. And then a woodcutter's hut, collector's guild. All right, a woodcutter's hut. And I guess we'll do it right there with the most amount of trees. Can I not zoom out while doing that? I, I don't like when uh, when you cannot zoom out whenever you have a building selected. And I wish it would tell me how many trees are in the area. I think this was going to be the best place for it right there. Wait, did I just delete a couple of trees by doing that? I think I just deleted a couple of trees by placing it there. All right, so I, I better would have placed it right there, I'm guessing then. Oh, well. All right, is it going to be building? Um, what do we need to do to build it? Do we need to put scouts in here or something? Um, all right, we're putting a worker in there now, right? Where is that worker magically coming from, I wonder? Is that this? Available workers? Okay. And then we have somebody working there. Oh, it's already built? I'm not entirely sure how that works. I don't know where they are coming from. I have a couple of available workers here. And what is this building then? Fisherman hut. Okay, let's assign two there as well. Why not? 
And now we have four left. So I guess two there and two there. There we go. Then everything is all the way filled up. We have no extra people left. Oh, look at that. They're actually going through the snow. Wow, that's, that's pretty thick snow right there. What is this? A house. Beautiful. Oh, we got some more population now. So I guess the house is uh, filled up. Thanks for the boop, Stormy. Good to see everybody in uh, in chat. Oh, for some reason, your message earlier got... Uh... There we go. For some reason, Stormy's message earlier got held back by YouTube. But thank you very much for that message. Hit that like button or feel my murder claws. Yeah, that's probably the reason why you said that word. <laughs> YouTube doesn't like that. All right, what do we do with those? A construct fisherman hot one out of two. Okay, so we need to construct another another one. We can do that. Now we can place it pretty much anywhere. Can we rotate it ourselves? No, it kind of just rotates depending on where you place them. All right, that's fine. I'll place another one right there. Beautiful. And then we need to... Right, something is already... It's automatically being built by somebody from there, I'm guessing. Can we speed this up? Oh yeah, there we go. It's being built. Okay. Yeah, so someone from the Jarl's homestead will go there. Oh, these are the workers. All right, these are the builders. I see. This is average happiness. This is current total housing, okay. Fisherman has been constructed. Uh, construct house, two out of three. Reach Jarl, settlement. Okay, yeah, still have to do that. We can place another two people in there. And now we have to build a home. Oh, well. Now right, we have a we have two homes already. One over there, one over there. Can we rotate these then? Oh yeah, we can press R to rotate these. What is this? Stone deposits, okay. I thought it was something special because of that circle that uh, surrounds it. All right, let's rotate it like that. Can I not? Can I only rotate it one way? So quick as well. That's a little bit annoying. If anybody has played this game and has some uh, control tips or something, uh, feel free to let me know. All right, it's not going to be perfect, but it will do. We're probably also going to have to build a well. So uh, let's just do that immediately. I think that will be useful. And let's build ourselves another home right here. Oh my god. It's so annoying. There we go. Perfect. You think the sh it's shift, left click, or control? Oh, shift is like in a grid. <clears throat> oh, yeah. So if I turn it around and then shift... Ah, uh, yeah, it shifts automatically to the grid. Ah, thank you. Yes, so you can place it directly next to the other one. Yeah, okay, I get it. Thank you. Now, what is supposed to be the entrance for this one? I think right here. Place that there. <clears throat> My house is on fire. Uh-oh, that's not good. Well, I don't know what to do about that. <laughs> are, are they doing anything about that? Are they, um... No? Maybe because we need a well nearby? Possibly. 
Alright, put two people on the well there. Maybe that will help. They're going. They're going. Is that doing anything? Oh, yeah. Alright, awesome. And then... It lost health, looks, looks like. Durability. Will that restore as well over time? Will somebody go work on that? Maybe. Alright, interesting. Alright, we need to construct a trainings hall. Right, that's military. We also have a bloomery, a tanner, a collector's guild. Hmm. Chimney error noobs, exactly. <laughs> Booster is awesome, he's always on fire. True. That is true. Let's build a tr let's build a collector's guild like out here because we like money. Even though it doesn't want us to make that, we are gonna make it anyway. And we have a hunter's guild as well. Doesn't matter if I or a hunter's hut, not a guild. Allows you to recruit hunters who produce food and animal skins. I don't think it matters where we place this. Oh, there's no wood anymore in this area. Can I like increase... Collection banner? Oh. Oh, what's happening? <laughs> We're getting attacked. Oh no. Oh no. Oh boy, that's not good. Oh yeah, we should have built a training hall. We should have built the training hall. We didn't do it. And now we are in trouble. Oh boy. I see the error of my ways. Yeah, there we go. Luckily we have a well. I build a training thing quickly. And hopefully we can train some X-Men and an Archer. I don't know how quick that will go. Or pretty quick, actually. We need to rec recruit two X-Men. Well, I made one so far. That will be fine. Oh, that's immediately five of them. Okay. So that's it. So you make five each time. Okay, and it also does take five... It also takes five of those. Looks like. And now we're missing... We're missing steel. And we're missing animal skins. So I think building the collection thing was a bad idea. Because now I think we're... We don't have enough resources. To actually do the mission. Maybe that was a bad idea. Where did they come from? As you wish. All right, let's just set them over here. Um, rage, resolve, precision shot, neutral. Warriors will attack whenever an enemy gets close. Defensive. Warriors will hold and defend position. Aggressive. And hold fire. Or defensive. Um, attack. Can I not tell them to like... Stand in a certain position? Oh, like this. As you wish. Um. On my way! This is confusing. I can only tell them to go certain directions. It doesn't allow you to go... As you wish. Like everywhere. As you wish. That's a bit confusing. 
Um, alright. But we're gonna have a problem here in a minute. All right. Because we don't have... Enough. We cannot make these. Uh, so we need a bloomery for this. And we need a hunter swing for the other thing. But we don't have enough to make a bloomery either. We need... We need stone. How do we collect stone? I think I messed it up by building that collector swing. Oh no, that just took wood. Wait, so how are we supposed to recruit the X-Men then? If it didn't give us enough resources. Maybe I've been building too many homes. What does that take? It takes also wood, the well. Well takes stone. Uh, I shouldn't have built the well, maybe. Alright, so we need a bloomery. How are we gonna fix this? How are we gonna collect stone? How does that work? We have a collect collector's guild. Oh, these collect stone. The collectors collectors guild collects stone. I thought I thought they were collecting money or something, <laughs> like gold for the yarl or something. You know what I mean? Alright, so these produce bog iron, and they will also produce stone. Okay. Yeah, we're getting it. We're getting it. Okay. Alright. So this is... Yeah, this is the iron, and then... Yeah, we need to move it to the stone. So I can move it here, and then we'll have both. There we go. Let's put more people on that. Cool. Put that one there. Collecting more wood. And now we're collecting a little bit of stone. And then we still have to make the hunter. Uh, where was that? Hunter's hut. We have to make that somewhere. I guess let's do the hunter close to the... Close to the training hall here. I think I'll be fine. Let's build that because we need hides as well. We need animal skins. Play similar to Surviving the Aftermath. I've never played that one either. I think I did buy that game as well. But it's another game I've never played. I've seen a, cup, a couple of videos on it. But I haven't played it myself. Not yet. Okay. So now we can build a Blue Marie. I guess we can, uh, we can make tulips there. Right? In a Blue Marie? Pretty sure that's it. Probably build another house or two. Turn it around. There we go. Now we have a bloomery. And we can have people working there. And then we can use two timber and one buck... What is it called? Bog iron? Create the steel. Cool, cool. Alright, there we go. We're doing it. So we kind of had to figure this out for ourselves. The game didn't tell us, hey, make make a bloomery first to create steel. No, we had to figure it out for ourselves. That's cool. Alright, so now we have these hunters. Now what are, what can we do with those? I don't see any enemies, any uh, animals, I mean. I don't see any animals anywhere. There's that encampment there. Maybe I need to go out and explore. Oh wait, there's animals there. Huh. Oh, hold on. 
Okay, so they will highlight. They will be highlighted. That's good. Oh, darn it. I Right-clicking moves the flag, and I'm used to right-clicking removing, like, UI. I'm probably gonna do gonna mess that up a lot of times. Oh, look at the snow. Pretty cool. Yeah, you can zoom in really far. Pretty cool. Putting a flag in any wooden air wood area will work. Mm -hmm. Oh, there we go. Finally producing it. Yeah, but I guess then you have to get lucky with if there are actually animals there. Because if I would have placed it here, there are no animals there. So I'm, I'm guessing it will not do anything. And now the animals are actually highlighted there. Maybe it will work. Like, maybe it will automatically spawn some enemy animals every now and then in the area that you have it set. But I'm guessing you can maximize the amount of stuff you get from it if you micromanage it. Alright, but now we should have enough to train some more units, finally. So we can do some more X-Men. Now, I don't know how about this. I don't know if I like the way this works. This is a bit confusing. Maybe they will explain it to me better in a little bit. Your army is getting stronger. Almost. Yes. Now we need to reach Jarl Erlens. Wherever that is. What is this? Upgrade the building. Sure. We can have another builder there. I don't think we need another builder per se. We can upgrade the houses as well. That will allow for... Oh, the double amount of people living there. Let's upgrade all of them. Beautiful. Very, very good. This one cannot upgrade because it's not happy enough. It doesn't have water or anything like this. What is this? Neighborhood. Entertainment. Water. Wisdom. Proximity to Elder's Hall. Health. And faith. Right. Okay. Can we make another one of those? Archers. What do we need for that? What is this? Clothing? Made from animal skins by a tanner. Can we make a tanner? Oh yeah, there we go. Let's make a tanner. Um. <laughs> Let's do that right there. Let's start working on that. Now, what else are we missing? We're missing more steel. All right, that means we need to do another collection thing. Oh, no, we are already collecting stuff there. Looks like it's focusing on the, on the stone. So maybe we need to make sure it focuses on this only. And there's more over there. Okay, there's still plenty left there. Even though it looks like there's not that much, there's actually plenty left. It's fun figuring out new game mechanics? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, you can move all the units separately. But there is a way to, like, set them up. On my way. But I want... I want the archers to be in the back...
I want the archers to be in the back and the warriors to be in the front, if that's possible. But maybe that's because I have them set to neutral. Maybe if I do defensive, it's possible to do it All right. differently, no? Battle stances don't do anything, looks like. What is this? Old fire. Our ranged warriors won't On shoot. I think maybe that doesn't matter. Build a temple, build a marketplace, build a weaponsmith, build an elder's hall. Okay. All right. Are we making more iron again? Yes, we are. Yes, we are. Good, 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 good. All right, so it's best, I think, to have multiple collector skills. One for the uh, one for the iron and one for the stone later on in the game. For now, it doesn't really matter, I guess. It's for later on, I think, that will be best. Uh, how we're doing on food? Uh, we have plenty of food, looks like. Um. Okay, and it's not separate. It's like fi fish and me and fish meat and um, deer meat and stuff. It's just called food. It's just the same thing in the end. We have mead. Looks like honey. Nice. We have this boat as well. This long ship. I wonder if I can do anything with that. Can I order troops to go in there? Doesn't look like it. All right, let's let's see what we can do. We have a healer's hut. Heals nearby warriors and increases the level of happiness nearby households. All right, so we could build this one, for example, out here. And what is the inner ring and what is the outer ring? The inner ring is maybe healing warriors. And the outer ring is increasing the happiness of uh, households. There's not a lot of space. Not a lot of space at all. Let's build that there. All right. All right. Let's see. Do we have any more people? I would like to make clothing. So let's assign some people at the tanner to make clothing. And then we can start making more archers. Can I put the banner here? Yes, we can. We can just put the banner like out here somewhere. We can do two more X-Men. Because this one is about to die. That one doesn't have long. We have scouts as well. Let's do one scout at least. The season panel. Storm upcoming, looks like. Or is that, did that storm already pass? Not sure. Alright, we have two of these warriors. Let's place them over there. There we go. Put them on the road. The scouts can go ahead and um, scout. Can we have them auto scout or something? I know that games like Civilization, you can set them to automatically scout. I got it. Let's see. Aggressive, new defensive, vision. Sends out an eagle that uncovers part of the unseen terrain. Um, ooh. Wow. There's a lot to do, isn't it? Did that work? All right, cannot be too far away, apparently. And that works really quickly. What does it cost? Oh, it's just a cooldown? Huh. All right, what is this? Resolve. Uh, refill team. Send out another eagle. Oh, there's a mountain there, so the eagle cannot go far from there. I see. All right, let's send this scout this way. way. Actually, let's send them this way. Oh, there's wolves. No, run, run. Kill, Kill the wolves. Oh, as you wish. All right, we're good. 
We survived. All right. Let's go back there. Let's heal the warriors. Uh, we probably need someone in there first. Oh, yeah. There we go. All right. So those are now healed. These houses are happier because there's a healer's hut nearby. And we can finally make some more archers now. Only one, apparently. Oh, yeah. We need more. We need more people. All right. So let's do more housing. Um... Do, do, do. Let's do another house. Right there. Let's do another house. Right there. And let's see. Do one more house this way. Another one over there. There we go. Plenty of houses. I want to do another well over here. Uh, turn it around. There we go. And then these can level up as well. Now we will have plenty more people. An archer over that way. Let's make another archer and two more. So we have two archers over there, two warriors. Then we'll have three archers and three warriors over there, but these two are almost dead anyway. I got it. There we go. The scouts are good. Oh, actually. These will heal up, won't they? Almost. We place them close enough. Almost. Will these not heal? The scout healed up really quickly. Do these not heal? I'm confused. Oh, my people are hungry all of a sudden. How do we not have food? We had so much. Our hunters are out there. Do we need more fishermen? Might need more fishermen working there. Yeah, we did expand quite a bit. Let's do another fisherman. Let's do another hunter. More animals all the way out there. I wonder if we can do defensive, uh, defensive things like walls and towers. <laughs> now, these are not healing. I don't know why. Heals nearby warriors and increases the level of happiness for nearby households. Now, why why are you not healing them then? Or maybe he... Ah, uh, well, okay. Maybe it's because... That is the that is the health of one of the people of one of these X-Men. And not necessarily the health of a whole squad. So I guess I guess yeah. His teammates died, so I mean they, they can't magically come back, I'm guessing. I guess that's why it doesn't heal them because they're gone. And if I were to pick up this one, it would heal all the way because they're all still alive anyway. Okay, I see. Okay, I see, I see, I see. So, this one and this one are the weakest. Uh, 
Let's uh, let's leave them here. They can stay behind, defend the city, I guess. Let's put some people in here, and let's hunt for food out there. Hopefully there won't be any trouble with wolves or anything like that. There were wolves here earlier. Um, we can have a well here. Set that up. Yeah, there's a fire. All right. All right. Let's go and explore. Let's go out. We have something here. Scouting the area. Ooh, some leather and some wood. We have a lot of... We're missing a lot of food right now. We have some food problems, for sure. Maybe we're expanding too much. Build some more of those. We gotta take it a little slower, maybe. <laughs> yeah, exactly, King Bo. If, if we can build a tower or something, then we can put the lower health ones in there, maybe. But I don't know how to do that, this set. I don't know even know if that's possible. What, are losing health? Is that because of the cold or something? As you wish. Let's come back. Yeah, these are healed As up. These can't heal up. Yeah, they are taking damage for some reason. Not sure why. On my way. Uh, heal up. All right, is the food problem finally gone? Looks like we're getting more food now. All right. So let's go out. Let's explore. See what this world has to offer. All right. Oh, there's it down here. What is this then? I'm trying to interact with it, but small village. A few villagers live in on their own in the woods. They struggle with bandits and wild animals. Ah, quest. Our village is being raided by bandits who are hiding in the woods. Please help us get rid of them. We will greatly reward the Jarl. We shall do our best. Right, where? Dispose of the bandits raiding the peasant farm. Okay, where are these bandits then? Does it tell me? Oh, it shows up in the map there. Oh, and that's probably the Jarl then. Okay, yeah, you can. Okay, so you can, you can click this in the in the left there, and that will change the mini map. That little yellow orangey icon. All right, so that's where we have to go. This is where the bandits are. This way. They're over there. I see. All right, let's go and attack. I don't know why that one isn't attacking. Almost. <laughs> All right, we did it. Beautiful. We have raided the bandits. All right. And now we, um, should we go back here then? Or did we already get the award? As you. 
I think we automatically got the reward already. Okay. Let's go back. Go back to our healer. Right. And let's send out these guys over here because there was an uh, bandit over here as well. Attack! Attack all of them! For Odin and Valhalla. So why is that one not attacking? Why is one of them not attacking? Are they on different... Like things here? As maybe? You wish. Yeah, now it should be fine. Is there anything to be found here? Doesn't look like it. I got it! Come back over here. And are these not being healed up? These units? Almost. Oh, we did lose a couple, right? Yeah, we probably need to get some more warriors. Wouldn't be a bad thing. Now let's actually put these scouts here as well so we can see uh, more of the area. I'll wait a little bit. Looks like we have plenty of food now. Let's make sure it stays that way. Oh, we can build <laughs> we can build another fisherman inside of the longship. Nice. Now we can build another one there. Awesome. Now we got all of that. Beautiful. Let's go out. Let's go back all the way over there. I got it. There we go. Enemy army appeared. Where? This is where we came from. Where'd the enemy army appear? I don't see it. <laughs> what are they talking about? Yeah, confused. Very confused. There's something here. That's the watchtower. Do we have someone sitting in there now or something? Because it looks like this area is active and we can see everything that happens in this area. Yeah, whatever. Alright, keep moving. What's this? Got some stuff from there. Let's go this way. It's abandoned encampment there. That's the one we've been to before, looks like. Go around this. Oh, there's water there. I got it. Let's go up here. Something up there. Good stuff. Almost. Let's get down here then. Doing good. Have enough food to survive. The scout is much faster. Some of the units are slacking. All right. Yeah, let's get this way. Oh yeah, there's definitely a path here. It's the gatekeeper. Yeah, we are supposed to go here, I believe. Um, yeah, we are supposed to go this way. I think it's fine. I got it. Cause that is our mission right there. I think we have to go through here to get there. As you wish. What's this way?
Oh, got some wolves here. Something over here. What is this? Champions! Jarl, your warriors look like weaklings. We can train them for a small price. Take these resources in exchange for combat knowledge. Um, yes, please. So they are more knowledgeable now. They leveled up or something. Or they will be able to level up sooner now. Can we see XP or something? I guess that's the yellow line around these. I'm guessing. Are we finally here? Almost. Ah, looks like we made it. What a beautiful city. Um, our lookout tower got captured by bandits. We lost control of the area and we can't transport our supplies safely through the forest. Light up the watchtower on the hill. The watchtower on the hill. That hill right there? Okay. As you wish. We can do that. Speed it up. I got it. Let's go. Let's get those bandits. Very nice. Search the area. Got some good resources. Even more. And let's light the watchtower. Beautiful. Alright, what happened now? So now we have now we can see all those boats. Jarl Erland has betrayed you. His troops are on their way to plunder your settlement and slaughter your people. Hurry to protect them. What? That's crazy. Uh-oh. So those long ships are also on their way to me, I'm guessing. Alright, that's not good. Now, first of all, we need to slaughter these guys. Um... Or I guess maybe we should slaughter these guys first. Let's go back to the village. Let's uh, train some units. Oh, we literally cannot train anything except one. Alright, we still have a couple of units in the back though. So that's good. We have some extras. Let's build another house quickly. Another one. And another one. Um, where are my units? It's hard to see where things are. Almost. All right, come on, let's go all the way back home. Speed it up. Where's my people? Right, they're coming this way. They're working on it. On my way. They're not going to be fast enough. There we go. Those are done. All right. Yeah, that was easy enough. The evaders have been pushed back and I couldn't read what it said. Okay. Let's pause the game quickly. Retreat. Flee the, flee the settlement before more of Erland's men arrive. Gather your party and venture forth. Wait, what? Why? Where do we go? Do we have to go? Oh, we have to go to the longship? We have to gather all, all our men and get, go there? Okay. I don't like that, but okay then, let's go. Looks like we have to flee the area. And so the story begins. Frozenheim. <laughs> I like how everything is burning and the fishermen are just still there in the water, still fishing. That's a little funny. 
I get myself some tea. Interesting game so far. I like it. Definitely need to learn some more about it, but looks fun. Orchard increases food production over time. Yes, I want that. I want an orchard. Our troops got dispersed during the storm. We need to gather the survivors and find a safe place to heal our wounds. All right. Anything left here? Doesn't look like it. All right, let's press on. Oh, there's some troops here, looks like. Ah, there we go. Got those supplies. As you wish. Go around the area. Ah, there's more here. Oh, there's wolves. Shield wall. Shield wall increases range damage resistance by 100% and decreases speed by 30. Resolve. Rage. Increases power by 50%, speed by 50% for 7 seconds. Oh. On my That's way. good to know. Oh, there's some resources there. Let's pick them up. Don't want to miss out on those. Good stuff. Let's go all the way back here, because there might be some stuff there that I've missed out on. Oh, what the heck? <laughs> Didn't mean to zoom in on that one. All right. Uh, oh, yeah. We did miss, uh, miss a troop there. There we go. We found all the survivors. Uh, something else. Find shelter for exhausted soldiers. Alright, I guess we just have to go over here. On my way. Hey, Ilarakon. Good to see ya. Oh, Stormy gets a special hello. Almost. Wow. Stormy, you're special. Our brothers and sisters are under attack. We need to protect something. I can't read it. Okay. That text goes way too quick. Maybe it's because I have the game in uh, fast forward mode, but... I got it. Man, that's way too quick. I cannot read that. The movement of the units is just too slow for me. So that's why I have it in fast forward. But if the fast forward also affects the text, I think that's a pretty bad idea. I don't like that at all. I can't die yet. We won the fight. If we want to regain control of these lands, we will have to gain favor of the gods. Ew, what is that? Only the seer can show us the way. Oh, that's, that must be the seer then. Awesome, awesome. I think the audio is a little low. Even though it's like pretty much in 100%, except the music. Maybe I should, um, let's see. Let's do this. Music down a little bit. Put it back to 90 where it was. If this is too loud for you guys, let me know. Or if this is better, just, you know. Well, let me know. Talk to me. Um, put some people in there, I guess. Oh, I cannot do that yet. Okay. All right, we need to go to the seer. Where's the seer? The seer is this way. All right. Looks like. Some animals there. Oh, on top of this. No, all the way over there. Ah. I see. Hey, Flannel, then. Working, just jumping in quickly. Game looks fun. Do you recommend? Uh, yeah, looks fun so fun so far. I haven't played much yet. This is just a tutorial, just a campaign. 
But so far, it's been fun. On my way. Oh, we got some wolves. I got it. Some of the units are slower than others. I don't know why. That's a little annoying. There we go. Perfect. I got it. Yeah, the seer is up here. Oh, why seer? Hello. Uh, I can tell you about a place of great power for a small price. Sure. There's a place of special powers hidden from the side of mortal men. Gather your finest warriors and face the enemies along the way. Ooh. Uh, I mean, we don't have that much right now. Can we just, um, can we just go back to town As and wish. build up the town first? Is there something we can do? There we go. Yeah, let's build up the town first. We need a greater army before we can do anything else. Let's build a well. Um, bum, 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 bum. Built the well right there. And then we'll build the houses next to each other here. Is this still in range? I think so. Beautiful. Put a couple of houses. Get some more workers here. We're definitely going to need more food as well. Fishermen. At least one fisherman there to begin with. It's somebody working on that well make all of these guys happy it reaches that one perfect 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 let's get back here get him back to safety for now there we go they're working on that fisherman um do we have enough wood? We have a little bit of wood. Can I not build another one? Oh, I need stone for that. Okay, so I do need the collector's hut then. Let's build the collector's hut right there. And then we need a woodcutter. Let's build that one. Oh, turn it around. Build that one right next to it then. <clears throat> Perfect. Fisherman has been built. Make two. Two people working there. It's a fun RTS. I enjoy playing it. Yeah, I usually don't play these these uh, RTS kind of games. I like city builders though. And I like Vikings. So the combination is good. Hey, how are you doing Jordan? Haven't seen you in a little while. Thanks for being here. Hey man, I've been really enjoying the streams. Thank you. Thank you very much. All right, let's start build. Let's uh, start cutting down trees over there. Let's start collecting. Um... Oh, we do not have stone nearby. Oh, we do. Okay, we have stone over there. Let's go start collecting that stone first. We still have steel for now. And then, what is next? Next up, after collecting some stone, we can do another fisherman. Let's do a hunter as well. Let's turn this... There we go. Go to hunter's hut. Another food source right there. And then, oh, there we go. Now we can do palisades and gates and watchtowers. We can even build a boat. Construct a boat which transports units across the sea. Awesome. Alright, so now we're getting some new stuff. Hopefully we'll get more and more as as, um, as we do more objectives and such. 
because it feels a little a little um a little slow right now we don't have many different options yet this is past as well so requires tier two jarl's homestead i see okay well, let's build a training hall let's build a training hall right there and assign some hunters and make sure they go hunt for food right there. Or there's also good, looks like. Oh, we had some raiders. Let none of them alive. Go fight them. Fight them all. Kill. And yeah, these in the back aren't really doing much. I wish they would surround the enemy, maybe. That'll be cool. I mean, that's not really the Viking way, I suppose. All right. Yeah, let's wait here. All right, we have oh, we have shield bearers now, spearmen. All right, let's make another axeman. We're gonna have to make some more housing. If we want to survive. We're gonna have to do that. Hey Casper, good to see you. Welcome, welcome everybody watching. Wow, there's a crazy amount of people watching right now. 38 people watching in total, two on Twitch, 36 on YouTube. Thank you guys all for being here, hanging out. Don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe, and follow on Twitch if you have not done that yet. And join the Discord if you wanna talk to everybody in the chat throughout the day when I'm not live. And you can definitely do that in the in the Discord if you want to. Almost. Ba, ba, ba. Should we need do we need a scout? Yeah, I think we do need a scout. Yeah, we're getting more heights, we're getting more food. We have stone now, so that means we can make another fisherman. And wow, that was that was really loud. Because I turned up the, the audio. Ooh. <laughs> thank you very much for that seven months already thank you so much i appreciate it thank you jordan for being a member and uh helping me and the channel out hmm. when can we upgrade the jarl homestead Hmm. It doesn't really say what you need to... Oh, wait. Here, maybe? Oh, we need more stone. Okay, we need more stone to upgrade this one. Increases building radius, increases warehouse keepers limit by one. Unlocks new buildings and technologies. Huh? Oh, we're being attacked. Right. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, I did not even notice that. Oh, we're being attacked over there as well. Oh, boy. Oh, no. <laughs> we're being attacked everywhere. That's not good. All right. Attack those. We need more units. We need more Axemen. We need to ask them some questions. Oh, is it going to be enough? My units are almost down. Okay, we're gonna make it. We're gonna make it. That was pretty darn close. Alright, so there's something over there where they came from. Looks like. And there's something from over there where they came from. Now we'll keep these over here. We'll do uh, this one. We'll do this one over there. For now. And now we need to work on... Oh boy. We're constantly being attacked. This is not good. Now what do we need next? We need clothing. And we need more... We need more housing as well. We need all of that. Die. 
Need another Axeman. Otherwise, we're not going to survive this. Oh, boy. Yeah, we're not going to survive this otherwise. Go this way. And I bet as soon as this guy is almost here, another attack will come from there. I bet that will happen. All right, attack. For Valhalla. We need to attack aggressively. Whenever they get close, just immediately attack them. As you wish. Place that one over there. Oh man. Now what are we missing? We're missing more people. We're missing more people, so we need more housing. And we'll need another well then as well. Another well as well. There we go. And what else are we going to need? If we have more people, we're going to need more food. Which means we're going to need more fishermen. Yeah, we're going to need a lot more food with all these houses. That's for sure. We gotta play. We gotta play it smart. Making another axeman before another battle reaches us, or another army reaches us, I should say. Buildings are constructed. Really good. Really good. There we go. We have a well now. So these are becoming more happy. This one is being built. What are we missing? We are missing... Electric skilled wood. Fisherman house. The healer's hut. Oh, we need a level 2 homestead for that. What do we need for that again? We need stone? Why do we not have enough stone? Are we not collecting that? I thought we were. Yeah, we're collecting stone. It's just really slow, I guess. You have to walk pretty far for that. So maybe it would be best if we place the Collector's Guild a little closer. Or a second second one, I suppose. Maybe we'll do that one for stone collecting and then this one we'll do for the, um, the Bog Iron collection. And good to see you at Tech Gaming, uh, Ian. Sorry, I didn't see your message earlier. What is this game all about? Well, this is a city building game. Uh, silly bit, city building RTS kind of game. So you're going to have to fight off enemies. You're going to have to tactically tell your units where to go. Think ahead, build walls. But also just make a city and make people happy. And upgrade your city. Manage food. Oh, another enemy attack. Kill. Make another X-Men and another one after that. And we're starting to get really low on food right now. Starting to get really low on food right now. We'll need another couple of fishermen's. Can I not place another one here? Could like a second ago, but there we go. Oh, that one that way. Attack! Let none of them alive. Attack all of them. Oh man, I don't stand a chance against those archers. Oh, and another one incoming. Oh boy. That's not good. That is not good. 
We need to make some archers as well. We need a tanner. And for a tanner, we need to upgrade our hole. For upgrading our hole, we need more stone. All right, collect stone. Come on. You collect that. Or actually, why don't you collect both as well? Go that way. Make more. More X-Men. It's not easy. And we're very hungry right now. We don't have a lot of... Don't have a lot of food at all. I have no more workers. Oh, all right. Yeah, these can stay over there. This one can stay over there. And I'll bring that one over there again, I think. It's probably a good idea. Can we make more? No, not yet. Yeah, we have two more units. Let's place them in the fisherman hut. Make sure we have enough food to feed all the army. Don't have a lot of wood anymore. Let's go collect some wood up there. A little closer. Now we can upgrade this one, finally. Which means we can finally start building walls and such. And a gate. And watchtower. Oh, for watchtower we need level 3. What do we need for level 3? More wood, more stone, more steel. Okay. I see we won't get that yet. We can start building a palisade. Start building a wall like this. Oh, we have stone collection there as well. Uh, oh, I cannot see over there. All right, let's do this first. Um, how do I... All right, there we go. We click on the on the on the white wall. Okay, I see. Yeah, we need to get out there. We need to explore this area, and then we can build a wall around that stone deposit there. So we cannot build an unexplored area. Oh, there's a whole stone wall here. Okay. So we can actually just build a wall all the way out there instead. Can we... Um, destroy that. Destroy that. All right, I think they're done building there. Except for that little one there. Hey, Anna. Oh, there's, is there anything up there? Oh, there's some resources there. Now let's keep one of the units here actually just in case those can go up there looks like we're not getting attacked anymore at least for oh there we go i jinxed it i jinxed it <laughs> definitely jinxed it oh boy all right can we make more units we can yeah we're good though we're good. Beautiful. Come back here. They're fighting over there. Good. Do we get those resources? Looks like we did. Let's bring the four down there. That one can keep exploring over there. Alright. We're good. We're good. Oh, another enemy appeared. Kill them all. Kill them all. Joe. 
Yeah, we need to defend the town. So I want to have a gate. Okay, so first we build a palisade and then we build the gate on top of that. We cannot build the gate separately like that. Okay, I see. All right. So then... Um... All right, cool, 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 cool. So I want to build over there. Let's build all the way around. Because that's what we can do. There we go. Bring these oh, units back God. here. Bring these units over there. And make some more. If we can, we need more steel. Our steel is uh, we don't have, don't have any more. Uh, we need more wood. Are we not wood cutting? Should be collecting more. Just really slow, I suppose. I mean, we did just use a lot of wood, I guess, on the wall as well. That's probably what happened. Yeah, I'll wait a little bit. We'll wait it out. We're starting to build a defense, though. That is good. That's progress. You have a five, a three, two. Let's bring that two over there. So we have eight points of defense there, and then we have six points of defense here. Seems like most of the armies are coming from here anyway. Good to see you, Ara, as well, by the way. Welcome, welcome. I think you were here a little while ago already, but I don't know if I said hello to you yet. But uh, thank you for being here. Here, we're all out of wood. We need more stuff. We're using a lot of it. Let's speed it up a little bit. On Steam, the game is described as comparable to Foundation, but that's not that's, uh, really not true, not even remotely. Well, I would say you can compare it in certain ways to Foundation. I mean, there is city building. Um, Foundation also has an army, I guess. You, you don't see them fighting, but, you know, you can make an army and help fight for the king. So, you know, it's... It's definitely not a hundred percent the same, but there are some, some things that are similar. Yeah, it's definitely not a 100% the same kind of game. <laughs> All right, the wall has been built, the palisade, nice. That's a start. And let's build another fisherman if can. Um, yeah, right there. Beautiful. Hey, Galen, the foodie. Good to see you both. Welcome, welcome. Oh, we're being attacked over there. You just came back from work, had a shower, now drinking tea, watching Booster. Perfect evening. Good to see you, Anna. I'm glad you're having fun All watching right. the stream. Have you sent out troops to the hideout spot? Um, the hideout spot? The hidden spot? What do you mean, the hidden spot? Mm -hmm. I just have all my troops right here now. I'm trying to upgrade the city first a little bit. 
before doing anything else. Because if I upgrade my city, I can I can do more stuff. I feel like anyway. Built the blue Murray there. No. Not a raiding party. Cut him down. Cut him down. We need more troops. All right, go back. Actually, let's bring these back as well. A little bit. All right, we have a blue marine now. Perfect. Which means we can finally start making steel. So start collecting that. Oh. Are we winning? Are we winning? I don't think we're going to win. Almost. We're running out of troops and resources. Kill him. Kill him. Oh man, it's really important that they get me some more steel. All right. Without more steel, I cannot build more troops. Windmill! Farmhouse, windmill, awesome. Let's build a another wood collector. Build them over there. Time for relaxation now, Anna. The bow. Bow should not always be tense. Booster is relaxing and unwinding. Exactly. <laughs> You always take some time off to relax. Don't always have to be busy and stressing yourself out. <clears throat> yeah, we'll collect resources there. You collect those. Actually, what is closer? I think that one is closer. Alright, make more troops. I got it. Come back this way in the meantime. Kill! Probably not gonna survive that. Oh, maybe. Oh, what is going on with that tree? <laughs> you see that? As you wish. The tree is going crazy. Yeah, we need to get ourselves one of those, um, what are they called? Healer's huts. We need 25 wood for that. That's, we're, that's definitely gonna tip the scales on my favor. Once we can heal our units. That's a happy tree. Oh yeah, for sure. He, he seems really happy indeed. Also need to build ourselves a tanner. Oh, I built a well there, but I, re I realized I was going to build more houses there, but oh well. Oh well. <laughs> it's fine. Got 
Uh oh. We're Odin. All right, good, good, good. We survived. Let's make more. Put them in the middle there. And quickly bring them to either one place. Hmm. Or maybe... Oh, can I not do that at the same time? Cannot build further than that. Building a palisade over there. I don't know if that will stop them or if they will try to break through it. I'm guessing they will try to break through it. We'll see what happens. We'll see. I bring those over there. Those are weaker for now. Make another Axeman. Oh! That was a good call. Attack! Let's go! For Valhalla! Or for Odin, I guess. Oh, there was another one. I only saw the archers earlier. Oh boy, we have a problem. As you wish. Let's go this way. Attack! Come on, quickly! Kill them all! Kill them Let's go all. get them! There we go. As you Good. Wish. We got him. Alright, we got the tanner. Make sure we put people in there. So now we can make rangers. Which laptop would you recommend for starting? I, kn I know nothing about laptops. That's, uh, that's a bad question to ask me. I know nothing about computers or laptops. <laughs> Zero knowledge. I, I bought a gaming laptop from um, from uh, Alienware. That was the first gaming laptop slash PC that I bought. Kill! But I know nothing about it. I just bought something. <laughs> All right. It was pretty good. I didn't have problems with it. Um, the battery broke down after a little while because I was using it too much I suppose but other than that it was pretty good let's build a gate there I do not have enough to build that, I see. Let's build that first. You're going to study a little. The new Excel 2021 for professional users. Curious what has changed. Have fun. Have fun. I hope it's not too, uh, too difficult. Hope you'll figure it out. Hmm. Hey Stormy, welcome back. You didn't fall asleep, you had stuff to do? Sure. The fact that you have to say that makes me uh makes me feel a little sus. Makes me a little bit sus. Alright, I think we have to cut down these trees right here. 
Because these are... These are making it so that I can see the enemy very well there. So let's focus on getting those trees. I think that is a good idea. Gotta play it strategically. Right? That's what it's about. Oh, another enemy. Coming from there. Uh-oh. Don't have anything there. Almost. Oh, the gate automatically closes? Oh, that's perfect. That's good. Uh-oh. Are they gonna... Are the people from the well gonna go there? And are they gonna take out the... Take out the fire? I think they are. If those... I think those are the people from the well, yeah. Can we go through? Can we not go through? As you wish. Do I have to interact with it or something to open up the gate? Oh yeah, okay, so that opens up the gate. This. I think. Oh yeah, there we go. Oh, nice. So what I could do is I could let like a, a small army through, close the gate behind them, kill whatever came through and then open up the gate again for the bigger army after that for example that's pretty good alright we are very low on resources right now actually we're pretty low on resources right now But that's because I'm bringing the woodcutters all the way out there to cut down wood. Let's kill. Maybe I should focus on the objective instead. I'm guessing that that will help me out. Oh my god, so many enemies now. Oh boy. <laughs> on my way. This is not okay. That's so many enemies. Uh, shield bearers. Oh boy. Attack! Come on, come on. Oh, that's way too many. That's way too many. I don't think I can take this. I probably should have gone for the objective sooner. Cut him down! Cut him down! Oh, almost no health. Oh, <laughs> and my shield bearers are not done yet. It takes a long time. Speed up time, come on. There we go. Attack! Shield wall! Kill them all. Uh, the shield people are uh, pretty strong. That's good. Good, good, good. We're doing it. Make more shield wall. Shield bearers. The X-Men are finally done. Go! Attack! There we go. We're getting them. There we go. We got it. We're doing good. Yeah, we really need that healer's hut now. Let's get that healer's hut. Um, right outside. Right outside the wall there. There we go. I got it. Joel, 
We'll bring these ones over there. And we cannot make anything else just yet. All right, we're good. <clears throat> Do we have units there? Oh no, that's the people cutting down the trees. Oh yeah, cutting down the tree stumps still as well. That snow melted quick. Yeah, it did. Good to see you, genius. Now let's upgrade these tents. Let's have a healer live in here. And let's heal up my units. Hopefully they can. Yeah, so I'm guessing that once, a, once like one of the persons dies, it will never restore to full health, which makes sense. So it will only heal the the one unit, the one person in the in the squad, I guess. Oh, we're being attacked over here. I didn't even notice that. Hello. Here, open the gate. Let him through. Let him through. Let's do more X-Men. Do they not care? No, they just they just destroy the thing. They don't care at all. <laughs> Alright. Kill them all! Kill them all! Oh, no, no, no. Don't go there. That's none of them alive. Yeah, perfect. As you wish. Yeah, we'll keep those there. <clears throat> Let's build another gate. Oh, we cannot build the gate again. We first have to build the palisade again. And then build the gate on top of that. Okay, I see. <clears throat> That's a little bit annoying that it works like that. Are we being attacked again? We are. As you wish. Bring those there. Uh, so what do we have over here now? We have one shield dude, one X dude. Let's do another X dude. The two X dudes, I guess. Kill. Let's go. Fight them all. All right, good. Let's heal up. I got it. I don't know why they're going through those stands there. <laughs> Are we healing? Why are they not healing? All right, let's go. Let's go get him. Attack. Come on, get him. Kill. Go, go. Kill them all. And a gate has been made. Beautiful. Close this one. All right, destroy them. Beautiful. Almost. Let's go back. Heal. Can they heal over here? I think they can. Are they healing? Hard to see. Yeah, I think they're max health now. <clears throat> because we lost one of them. And we lost one of them here as well. Cool. Good to see you, Red Viking. Hello there. <laughs> Alright, that's working. Um, let's do... Oh, we need more wood. We need way more wood. 
<clears throat> Alright, let's put a production thingy on there. Actually, let's first put it here. There's a lot more there. And let's put a production thingy there. There we go. Chop down all those trees. Chop down all of them. Now, I believe that all these trees will regrow in time. Mm -mm -mm. So we do have to uh, keep an eye on that. But now at least we have a clear line of sight going that way. All right. So that'll be good. Uh, we have another X-Men. Let's bring that one over there. We have another X-Men. Let's bring him over there. Can we build another unit? Not right now. Alright, let's for now then. Let's see, where do we have to go? Where is this special place? Special place is over there somewhere, looks like. All the way out there. Red Viking, thank you very much for becoming a member. That's awesome. Oh yeah, I can see it here. So we have to go... So we have to go through here to get there. Okay, cool. Thank you very much, Red Viking. I appreciate it. Uh, I've been watching Graveyard Keeper streams. Will you revisit that one day? You love that game? I, I I was thinking about that, but I wasn't sure like how many people will be interested in seeing that again. But it's definitely a game I uh, I enjoy myself, and I would like to play again. So yeah, I might. Alright, there we go. Good defense. All right. Beautiful. Close the gate. Or actually, let's just keep the gate open immediately. It's fine. We have units there. Um. And I guess let's send out... Let's send out the shields. And let's send out the warriors. We'll keep these three here. It's not a lot, but it's something. And these guys will uh, will press on. Let's go that way. We gotta get to that special location there. One way or another. Now, what are we missing then for more units? We're missing more hides. Let's see. We have we have animals there. Looks like it takes them a while to collect the the meat and such. We have some animals there. Oh, enemies encountered. Alright, good, good, good. Awesome. Alright, should we follow the road or should we go off the road? I feel like we have to go off the road. If possible. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, there's something here. Oh, perfect. There's a bandit encampment here. Kill them all! Kill them all! So I wonder where all these raiders and bandits are coming from. Maybe from this one? Maybe now that I have destroyed this one, there will be less bandits coming in? Possibly. There we go. Perfect. Let's get those resources. Oh, it looks like we have company back there. Kill. Rush in. Might not survive that one. We need to make some more troops. Uh, <clears throat> more shield bearers. We don't have any archers ourselves. Let's get some archers ourselves as well.
Oh boy. Kill them all. Let's go there. Close these gates. Need to hurry up. Kill. Speed it up. Speed it up. Come on. Run, run, run. Attack! Attack! Or Odin! Let's none of them alive! Yeah, we're good. We're good. Let's bring this guy to the healer. These six can go right there. Yeah, we're making more archers and such. Doing good. Alright, these guys have uh, explored this. Can we go further up? No, it doesn't look like it. Okay. Let's go back this way. Looks like it's going to take us quite some time to reach that. Looks like it's going to take us a lot of time to get there. We have plenty of food. We have archers. There we go. We have a more diverse team now. <coughs> Put some more shield bros here. That's what they're called. Shield bros. Mm. Oh. Let's temporarily close the gate. Or actually, we just opened it. Never mind. <laughs> Close the gate. Just for a second. There we go. Open it up again and let's attack. We have archers. Bring the archers over On here as well. Way. Yeah, we're doing good. We're doing good. What do we need to upgrade this one again? Mobilization. Create a team of militia nearby the workers. Oh, that's useful. <clears throat> uh, we need more hides for another level. Average happiness must be four. Okay, so it's not yet average level four. This may be because of this one. Because that one is further away. So let's build... Let's build a house there, another house there. Build a well there. That'll make them happier. And can we just dis disbanden this one? We can repair it. Doesn't let us though, because I guess it's full health. Can we destroy it? Is there an option to destroy something? Uh, deconstruct that one. There we go. Perfect. Much better. We have people at the well. I don't know, uh, Genius. I don't know if the same people made this. I, n I never played Frostpunk either, so I don't really know. I have seen some gameplay on it, on Frostpunk. So yeah, it's, um, it's sort of similar, yeah. There we go. All right, we're doing a little better now. Do we have now an average of four? Yes, we do. So now we just need more deer hide or more hides, not necessarily deer. 
can we upgrade these buildings as well? I feel like it takes ages to collect stuff. You probably go collect some over here as well. You know what? Maybe I need to... Place the banner there. Maybe you need to build another one of those. Speed it up. Let's do another hunter's hut. And let's actually build this hunter's hut right next to where I need it to be. I want this to be right there. Oh, they're already down. Oh wow, those ra those archers are really good. They can handle them from really far away. That is what they do. That is what archers are. Wow, how strange, isn't it? Hmm. Oh, I'm using up a lot of wood. I want to build a little wall there. I want to build a little wall there. And then I want to bring these a little further away. I got it. There we go. So they are forced to go straight that way into my army. Let's see, we have another one of those. There we go, perfect. Let's have people work there. And put the thingy over there. Are there any more animals anywhere nearby? That one... Yeah, nowhere else it seems. That's yeah, good enough for me. Another archer. Let's do another archer over this way. And let's do another archer. And then we'll do the other archer over there. There we go. That's a good team right there. Good defense. We still have these guys out there. Let's start exploring with those then. Nope. Get him. Go all in. We're probably not going to survive this one, I guess. Well, maybe. We have two different types of enemy. Of, uh, units. There we go. We actually made it. Pretty surprised about that. Yeah, another archer. Let's bring those ones over there. All right. Uh oh. They're burning it down. Uh, the gate is open. I don't know why they're burning it down. Does the rain put out the fire? Looks like the guys with buckets put out the fire, but not the rain. Oh, there's more bucket dudes coming over here, even though it's already done. Can we actually... Oh, yeah, we can actually see them throwing water. It's pretty fun. Nice. Well done. All right, All let's way. do this. Beautiful. Um... Ah, there we go. Real nice. Looking good, looking good. Let's get some spearmen as well. What do they do? Deals 25 damage to each warrior from the targeted team and stuns them for 3 seconds. Ooh. Archers have increased attack range by 20% and disables friendly fire for 50... Friendly fire? There's also friendly fire? Okay, so those are the abilities that I'm reading. Those are the special abilities that we can click on, I guess. Okay, I see. I didn't even realize it was friendly fire. So we can actually attack our own people. 
if we send in like a huge army, they, they have a chance to attack each other. Ooh, that's interesting. As you wish. Uh, let's put spear dudes there. David didn't even realize that. Uh, more shield bearers, why not? Can we upgrade this one yet? We need more wood, more height still. And we are using a lot of it on... On these guys, I guess, yeah. Elder's Hole. Uh, let's do these spear dudes over here. All right. I want a diverse team. Yeah, we are definitely uh, getting better now. We're definitely defending our city a lot better now. That's awesome. Let's do these shields dudes over there. Uh, let's see. Doom right there. Nice. I just wish there was a way to tell them to have like the, I don't know, the, the shields in front, the spears behind it, the archers behind those. I wish there was a way to do that. <clears throat> if there is, I don't, I'm not aware of it just yet. I hope there is a way to do that. Because that would be pretty cool. Alright, let's move forward. These are probably not going to survive. Let's move forward and explore. You guys having a food fight? Uh oh. Kill them all! Kill them all! Oh, yeah, we're not surviving that one. Yeah, we're not surviving that one. <clears throat> Good try, though. Oh, all the trees grow back. Grew back. As you wish. Now let's bring these guys forward. Actually, could we put archers over here? Would that do anything? If we put archers like out here. Will they be, be able to, sh to shoot the enemies down there, I wonder? On my way. Oh, there's a fire? Uh-oh. By the time that I get here, the enemies are already destroyed. I think this should work. What do you guys think? Is this gonna work? Oh, they're floating. They're flying. Oh no. <laughs> we got flying archers. Alright, that will definitely scare the enemy. On my way. That will definitely scare them. Beautiful. Alright. I think we need a better team. Um, let's first worry about upgrading though. Because I want that watchtower. 
A tower that defends the neighboring area from incoming attack, incoming enemies. So it also shoots down upon enemies, I'm guessing. <clears throat> Are these guys actually shooting? Oh, they are. Oh, that's perfect. So they are actually shooting the enemy down there. <coughs> all right. Oh, that's good. Okay, so I'm going to put all my archers up there then. Because the enemy can't get here. And I will put our, uh, our troops. We'll put our troops over here. There we go. Perfect. Almost. Put the archers there. Awesome. You put them a little closer. They're not really going where I want them to go. Yeah, whatever. That's good enough. Awesome. That's really good. Good to see you, Jerry. Welcome. Good to see everybody watching. Wow, there's a lot of people watching right now. A total of 50 people watching on Twitch and YouTube combined. Thank you guys so much for being here hanging out. Hope you guys are enjoying the game as much as I am. I'm having a lot of fun playing it so far. Let's, um... Hmm. We need a lot more wood. Why do we have so little? Ah, uh, because there's no trees in this area anymore. That explains it. And this one is empty as well. Yep. Okay. So you do have to micromanage that a little bit. Gotta make sure you uh, keep moving. Alright, there's no stones in this area either anymore. Let's start gathering... Let's start gathering... There's stones there. Let's start gathering them over there. We're not in need of stones right now, it seems. Can we do both of those? Yeah, probably not. And that one is empty as well, so let's do that one then. All right, pretty good, pretty good. Oh, there's another tree <laughs> freaking out. Oh, that's so funny. Uh, so we can probably... I wonder if we can expand all the way out there eventually. I mean, we have a circle in which we can build, depending on the level of the Jarl's homestead. So we cannot expand that far, I'm guessing. But maybe. Alright, now we just need more wood. Which we should be getting shortly again. Alright, I think I'm gonna send out... I got it. Two of these. Oh wait, there's a watchtower up there? <gasps> wait, what? Alright, let's go up there. Let's get that watchtower. Abandoned watchtower. Toll tower used for guarding the neighborhood. That'll be useful. That'll be really useful. Perfect. So now this entire area we can we can look at. Well, that is really useful. Right, let's bring those archers back down there. And let's put them on, um, oh yeah, aggressive. Attack anything in nearby. Let's go this way first. I know there's abandoned, well, no, let's go to the abandoned encampment first. As Wait over here. Wish. Let's 
Special attack. Shield wall. Shield wall only helps against ranged, I think. Which is weird, it should help against melee as well. At least a little bit. Kill them! Oh, spears are almost down. For glory. For glory. All, right. All right, good. We're getting resources. There's more resources over there. Awesome, awesome. Now, let's see. Ah, finally, we can level him up. Oh, that's good. So now we have a slightly larger... Yeah, we have a slightly bigger range now. The wall was my previous range, and now this is it. Okay. So it is really not that much of an improvement. But it definitely helps out. Yeah, that's awesome. Um, What is this? We can upgrade the well... What is that going to do for us? Allows an additional worker, increases happiness bonus by one. Oh. That's nice, I guess. Sure, let's do that. Why not? Do the same thing over there. Put an extra worker. Oh, and an extra radius as well. Oh, okay. That's useful. Not necessary everywhere, but it is useful for sure. And now we can do a watchtower. Meaning we can do... Ooh, I cannot build it up there just yet. It's a little bit far away. So we could do a watchtower. Let's do one... Uh, well... Okay, let's do one up here. Turn it around. Do one up there. Now we're going to defend this area a little better. We are going to place... We're going to place a palisade... Out there. There we go. And now we're going to place a gate on top of that. Once we have enough wood. Did we do all of this? Yes, we did. Let's explore that way. I don't think there's anything there, but you never know. Better to explore. And I want to build a gate right there now. Let's have somebody in the watchtower. So those will defend the neighboring enemy, the neighboring area from incoming attacks is what it will do put four people in there enemies have appeared where where where's the enemy where's the enemy i didn't see them are they already down <laughs> it would have been quick all right let's go back out this way Wait, is, there, is this a dead end? I thought we had to go this way to get uh, to get there. Because there's a uh, there's a bridge there. I was I was like 100% sure that we had to go that way. Maybe we have to go the other way around or maybe we have to build a boat to sail there. That's also an option, I guess. Hey Blaze, good to see you. How are you doing? Oh, wait, I'm, I'm missing items over there as well. Hmm. I got it. Yeah, it looks like this is a dead end. Oh, interesting. So then I'm wondering, where did, where do all these bandits come from? If this is a dead end, oh, and how do I even get there? <laughs> or maybe this will be... Maybe we won't get attacked from this side anymore then. 
Possibly. And only from this side, maybe. <clears throat> well, it's better to build a gate here anyway. Make sure we're safe. Let's build the gate... Right there. So that it's in range of the watchtower. That will be good. That will be really good. All right, and I place these back a little. The ranged units there shooting down. We have these guys. It's gonna be awesome. We cannot build a wall all the way over there yet. For that, we have to increase the range of the Jarl's homestead. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. I need to drink something. Ah, there we go. Gonna have more workers there. I don't know what that's gonna do for us, but... Alright, we got those supplies. Let's bring these guys back. <coughs> Let's have them heal up. I think they need to. The gate has been built. Is it closed? It's open. Okay, good. Open for now. Let's do another gate here. <clears throat> Let's do another... Palisade. And then I want to close this off and another gate here somewhere. Want to make this really secure. So we don't have to w worry about it anymore. <clears throat> oh, these are full health again. Awesome. Enemy attack. Oh. They don't even stand a chance. <laughs> they don't even stand a chance, bro. I don't even see the enemies in here by the time that I get there. <laughs> Alright, these can go back this way as well. On my way. And Go. these... Can we, like, do something with them? Oh. We can't heal them up further. We can upgrade this one later. Now, let's just place this one in the front oh, line, I guess. <laughs> As you wish. Place these right there. Beautiful. Yeah, we are collecting wood. Let's make sure... Yeah, this area is almost empty again. There's only one left. collect in that area and uh, let's start collecting in this area again can we collect all the way out there is that possible oh we can obviously that will be a little bit far away but it is possible so it might be good to have multiple of those that we never run out of, uh, of wood, basically. Let's make some more axemen. What is this? Register. Oh, I see. We can see all the buildings and such, and uh, people working there. Okay. We can build a temple later. It requires an Elder's Hall. Uh, the Elder's Hall unlocks unique settlement abilities. 
We should probably get that. That seems like a good thing to have. Uh, that is the entrance there. All right, so let's build it. Let's build it right there. I think that's a good spot for it. Do, 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 do. Build some more houses. And let's build a temple. Oh, wow, that's huge. All right. Let's build the temple right there. We can upgrade those. So what does this do? Technology tree. Oh boy. Choose your clan. The crow clan. What does that do? The crow clan grants access to exploration and mysticism abilities. Oh boy. I'm going to have to read through all of that. Oh, the enemies are gone already. Yeah, they're so quick. It's insane. Now right, we're gonna have to read through all of that. Let's bring these X dudes over here as well. Not like they need it, but let's do it. Worship the great fish. <laughs> Alright, let's read through. There's a lot to do. <clears throat> Okay, the Crow Clan. So, exploration and mysticism. Uh, the Deer Clan is access to development and resource production abilities. The Bear Clan, access to defense and abilities. To defense abilities. The Wolf Clan grants access to battle abilities. Uh, let's see. Breeding Kennel allows recruitment of aggressive dogs. Ooh. Discontent increases over time for each for each controlled runestone. Discontent? Oh, decreases. Okay, I, I thought it said increases. I read that wrong then. Alright, discontent decreases over time for each controlled runestone. Reveals all runestone locations. Increases visibility around your village by 30%. That is useful. Uh, unlocks the Shakuna recruitment and training field. Shakuna, Shakuna tames wild animals and has healing aura. Huh. Teaches the elders uh, are engraved on the surface. Increases armor of units. In its facility. Vicinity. Rummager. Your troops will loot. Each killed enemy team. Lookout. Allow scouts to build structures outside your village. With that grand vision. Ah. Oh. Discontent will drop by 20 for each blessing used. Increase unit speed. For all units I guess. All unit speed. Yeah. Increases a watchtower attack and visibility range. Oh man, there's a lot of a lot of things to keep in mind. Happy place increases happiness in all houses. Discontent decreases over time. If you have at least food, four food production buildings, reduces food consumption, allows farms within the range to work during winter, and increases food production rate. In buildings with within range. It's a granary. Place of worship grants bonus to faith for nearby buildings. Mm-hmm. Um Obelisk, the teachings of the elders are engraved on the surface. Increases okay. So that's pretty much the same as this one. So some of them are almost the same. Some of them are completely unique. 
increases the, the resource exchange price in the marketplace. I don't even have that yet. Discontent will drop by 10 of each recruited team. Healer's hut requires 50% less resources to refill the team. Oh, it actually takes resources to heal your units? I didn't even know that. Okay. Interesting. Elite archers. Flaming arrow. Increases archers range and allows them to shoot fire arrows that deal damage over time. House Carl. Unlocks the House Carl recruitment and training field. House Carl is a heavy in uh, inventory unit equipped with a sword. Strong against melee infantry. Hmm. The Bear Clan. Reduces building construction. Warriors and villagers are vulnerable to weather. Are invulnerable to weather changes. That's good. That increases buildings HP. Grandstone foundation. Increases durability. Unlocks trappers. Recruitment. You can place a trap on the ground and immobilizes the enemy. There's a lot of different things. Training troops don't doesn't require steel or wood. Ah. Oh. The wolf clan. Speeds up blacksmithing, Valkyrie Rage for elite shield bearers. Berserkers. A unit recruitment doesn't require food. Recruited enemy unit uh recruited units are at level two. Oh that is really good. That is actually really good. Allows to heal, refill units in, in bandits camps. Allows you to heal and refill units in bandit camps. Oh, that is that's useful. Increases watchtower shooting speed. Units battle ability cooldown is reduced by 50%. Alright, I'm gonna go for the wolf clan. What do you guys think? I think the wolf clan is probably the better one. I'll wait for a little bit and uh wait for your advice. But I think the Wolf Clan will probably be one of the better ones. Especially for uh, exploration as well. Since you can heal your units apparently in bandit camps. Which seems really useful. Which is weird because the Crow Clan is exploration. I mean, it has some good things as well, but I think that the Wolf Clan is a good mix of everything and has their own good abilities as well. I'm gonna get some tea in the meantime. Because the, the tea in my mug is almost empty. There we go. Hey, Tim, good to see ya. Pixie, welcome, welcome. Welcome, Pixie, good to see ya. Where everybody says wolf. Dark mouse says bear because it's a bear. Well, everybody else says wolf, so I think we'll uh, I think we'll do that one. BD Alpha, you are lead to wolf pack. True. Nice. All right. Let's go for the wolf clan. All right. So. What does this mean? Red means we cannot get it yet, maybe? And blue means we can. So let's unlock this. There we go. That will cost us 15 steel for each ability. So we'll get Elite Shield Bearer. We'll get a Blacksmith Master. We don't even have a Blacksmith yet. Speeds up. Uh, Weaponsmith's research time by 100% and reduces the research cost by 50. I will get Berserkers. That's awesome. That's gonna be good. 
But, 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 Booster Bear. I thought I was Booster Bunny, not Booster Bear, yeah. And now I'm Booster Wolf. I guess. That's just the way it is. Oh, we can start building a... We can start building a windmill if, if we have a warehouse. Where do we get a warehouse from? Oh, there we go. Collects resources from production buildings. There we go. Build a warehouse there. Um, build a boat. Could build a boat. I don't know how useful it is, but let's do it. We can build a shipyard. Can't seem to do that here. Not enough space. A weaponsmith. I guess we should do that one now as well. Since we have unlocked that kind of stuff. And now that we have a Okay, yeah, so it's making blacksmith, it's making berserker now. Can we upgrade this again? No, that's not how it works. Alright, but what did we get? We got, so we got elite shield bearer. So now the shield bearer, oh, that's just another ability, okay. So it upgrades the shield bearers, and now they have a, a second ability, I see. Alright, that's pretty good. And we have a temple as well. We can get blessings. A place where villagers can pray to the gods and receive blessings. Blessings can be unlocked by taking control of rune stones. Okay, we don't have rune stones yet, I don't think. So we'll have to wait for those. Alright, what is this? You can make armor, sharp axes. Will units automatically use those? I wonder. Sharp axes, reinforced shields. I guess we can just make them. Oh, that's like, oh, that's level ups. All right, so now it's Reinforce armor 2. Steel hat arrow 1. Okay, yeah. Okay, so you're leveling up the armor and the weapons from all your... All your units. Okay. So let's level up as much as we can then. And they will become a lot stronger. There we go. That's good. We're learning. We're learning. We're doing good. Put five people in there in a the warehouse collecting stuff. We need another healer's hut nearby. Um, wisdom, elders hall. Don't have entertainment nearby yet. No, oh, that's close. So when there's a banner above the little house, that means that their production area is empty, I suppose. It must be. I don't think we've been attacked from over here in a while. So I think once you, uh, once you destroy these things, I think nothing will spawn anymore. 
Which would make sense, that's what I thought. Are these automatically upgraded to elites now as well? No, these are still like normal shield bearers, okay. These are not the elite versions. They're not the stronger ones just yet. Now let's make some better ones. Pixie, thank you so much for the 20. Pixie Fix donated 20 dollar. Super chat for the Umity budget watcha drinking today. He can always count on you bring us good games. Thank you so much. Super chat for the yummy tea budget. What are we drinking today? Today I'm uh, drinking um, uh, strawberry. Strawberry flavor. But also with honey in it, as always. Always put a little bit of honey in there. But yeah, strawberry uh, flavor with honey. Thank you very much for the, uh, for the tea drinking budget. <laughs> awesome, I like that. That's pretty cool. Um... So wait, does this does this whole area not need defending anymore then? That would make all the defenses kind of useless that I made so far. Alright, well, let's just keep... Wait, let's keep those there. Let's bring the elite ones over here. Let's bring them over there. Let's put the banner over there as well. Um, I want to make berserkers. Did I make another hunting hut? I did. But there's no more animals nearby, it seems. None over here. There's animals all the way out there. little dangerous going there. Alright, that one is emptied out. Do we have some more iron anywhere? We have stone. Doesn't look like we have any more iron anywhere. So let's collect that stone instead, I suppose. And this is empty now. Let's get those. Uh, maybe let's do get these animals. And I think... Yeah, let's go out with a couple. Let's bring these. Bring that one out there. Let's bring one archer with us as well. So we'll have one of everything. That will definitely make this defense a little weaker. But that's okay. We have plenty over here. I don't think we're going to get attacked here anymore anyway. Let's bring these archers back there. Let's bring one of these shield bearers over there as well. I think two shield bearers there and one archer up there should be plenty. And we also have this watchtower there. So I think we will be fine. Also, we can build a watchtower here. I forgot about that. Boom. There we go. Even better. Even more defense. Um, in that case, I'm going to do another yes. archer even. There we go. There'll be plenty. A watchtower plus, plus another archer there. Do, 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 do. You like strawberry red? Yummy berries and honey and vikings. Yummy too. <laughs> So try things when when you're out. Got it. 
Uh, I only have British breakfast tea. Or uh, Irish breakfast tea. I see. Yeah, we have a lot of different flavors uh, in our home. My mother drinks a lot of tea. She's always been a crazy tea fan. So we have like a lot of different flavors. But I usually drink the same ones. Usually drink the same ones myself. Mm -hmm. Flash Stormy. You're not flashing in chat. <laughs> Good. They're all get they're all zappy in the socket. What? You guys are crazy. As you wish. Crazy people. Uh, have I played Dragon Age? I have not. No, I have not played Dragon Age. I should probably get a scout team first. Can we make a scout team? No, we cannot. Get more upgrades going. Yeah, we cannot make a scout team, so we'll have to scout with my entire army then. That's fine. Upgrade the houses. Make sure we have people in the watchtower. Perfect. As you wish. Well, looks like we are heading into the right direction. You're playing Dragon Age through again. You like having all kinds of tea too. Uh, what was the game where you would build a town and dragons would attack you? Or was that was that the game? Ah. Now Dragon Age, I, th I think, is something completely different, isn't it? Is that? I, I actually don't know what kind of game that is. Is that a city builder? I don't know. I don't know actually for sure. Oh, there's more resources over there. Oh, there's a bandit camp out there as well. As you wish. Don't think we can get up there. Yeah, I think we're gonna have to go with uh, with the boat. We're gonna have to sail that way or something. On my way. I feel like that's what we're gonna have to do. Oh, there's a fire. Are there just random fires, or are there actual enemies as well? Come on, let's go. Mm -hmm. Dragon Age is an RPG. Save the world kind of game, but it's so good. Yeah, I've never played it, but I can take a look at it at some point. See if it uh, if I like it. Oh, what is this? A, vi a fishing village. Why are those so slow? Local fishermen. Our resources got plundered by bandits. Please help us prepare for the coming winter. Uh, give us time to gather what you need. You can exchange some resources for a boat. Oh, that's useful. Yeah, let's do that. There you go. Um, do, do we not already have it? Give us time to gather what, we, what you need. Collection. Okay, so we oh we do not have enough yet, I see. Uh, so we do need more deer hide. Or any hide. It looks like deer hide to me, but it's just animal skins. 
animal skins in general. I think I need another hunter's hut. The peasants in the fishing village are ready for the coming winter. Some of them decided to join. Oh, nice. Um, cannot help. Wait, are we not going to get her? I, I don't understand. I got it. Uh, I guess because it's already winter. The quest is, uh, is, is gone. Because they needed it for getting ready for the coming winter. It's close to your favorite uh, second to Skyrim. The Skyrim is probably one of my favorite games of that of that genre. Stardew Valley is lovely too, yeah. Stormy is indeed a cutie. Yeah, you're right about that, Stormy. Oh, didn't even notice I was getting attacked there. There we go. You doing Medieval Dynasty tonight? <laughs> oh, nice. We got some resources. Got it. That is a lot to explore. Right, there's just water there, looks like. Nothing else. Right. Hmm. Yeah, so we definitely have to build a boat over there. Well, we actually we actually do have a boat already. Hmm. Six animal skins. Is this max level now? Looks like we cannot level it up anymore, so we must be max level there. Awesome. Let's make... Elite shield bearers and archers. Those over there. Let's make another boat. Because we couldn't build a shipyard anyway. How much for another upgrade? Only 20 of the hides. Okay. That will take a little while. Mm hmm. -hmm. Food is really not a problem right now. I could build a farmhouse and I could build a windmill, but honestly, right now it doesn't feel like it's necessary. I mean, we always need windmills in our lives, but right now I feel like it's better to invest in something else. I know, sacrilege. I cannot believe I'm saying this. I cannot believe I'm saying it, but I think it's worth investing in something else. Oh, there's some resources there. Nice. Oh, enemy! Attack! There we go. Nice. So this is a dead end right there. Wish. 
Gonna just wait there. You ready for the attack? Go, 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 go! To battle! Is there nothing here? As you wish. Really? There's nothing here? Uh huh. Oh, yeah, I already fought that guy. I already fought that bandit camp to go to the seer. I forgot. Alright, so this really is it. There's not much else here. Looks like. Alright. Oh, wait, there's not a watchtower there. Let's go to the watchtower. Beautiful. You can actually see a little better. To see what's up. Yeah, there we go. You can see everything around us. Almost. Bring our army back there, I suppose. There we go. Get some more hunters. And get these hunters hunting over there. In that area. Mm -hmm. Is there a way here? Nah, yeah, probably not. Alright, let's use the boats. Let's go into the boats. Can we go with multiple in one boat? No. Okay. Let's go this way. Let's go sailing. An archer and a shield bearer team. Um, expedition, the naval will automatically patrol the waters. Oh, let's do that. Let's just have them explore a bit. That's fine. As long as they do it in a team. Reinforced shoes increases unit speed by 10%. Oh, yes, please. Upgrade all of that. So I feel like my defenses are useless now. Because I think I got all the bandit encampments around the area. And I don't think we need any more units. Not right now anyway. Right. So let's go back there. I guess let's just stay in the village. And let's uh, fortify that area just in case something comes from that way. On my way. Now these are being really slow. All right, let's just uh, <laughs> let's control them myself. That's going to be a lot better, a lot faster. I do like this, though. All right, now that those boats are gone there, can I make a shipyard? Yes, I can. Beautiful, so we can actually make a big ship. I don't know if that's what we need to do, but I'm gonna do it. How about upgrades for this? We don't have any mead. How do we make mead? I don't think we can do that yet, can we? Produces food and skins. Oh, the farmhouse produces food uh, skins as well? Oh. If 
All right, so then then the farmhouse might actually be uh, be really good. And let's build a farmhouse then. I didn't realize that. And let's just build a windmill because, you know, it's a windmill. We need a windmill in our lives. Right, guys? Am I right or am I right? There's no other option. Hmm. It looks like we can get a shore here if we want to. Anything over there? Uh, oh, no, there's nothing there. <laughs> we do have to go this way. Oh, man, is there going to be a lot of exploration? We're going to have to go, like, really far out with the water. And then all the way up. All the way this way to get to our objective. So we definitely need a bigger army, I think. Okay, so the farmhouse automatically produces stuff. You don't need a banner, you don't need to do anything at all. It's just a passive, passive way to get food and uh, hides. Oh, that's awesome. That's really good. Not in the winter, though, but that's fine. And a windmill, we can make farm areas. Create area for resource gathering. Um... Effectiveness, 11. Yeah, so we need a lot of space for this. Cannot go outside of the building range. Okay. There we go. That's like 60 something. Can we make another area then? There we go. Oh no. Okay. It only makes one area. Okay. All right. Hold on. That's not what we want then. We want to make it as big as possible. Can I not do this bit? Alright, that'll be good. 80% effectiveness. Sure, why not? Oh, look at that. That's beautiful. Beautiful windmill. Let's go. Windmill power. Windmills in the chat. Even more windmills in the chat. Thank you, Dark. Thank you, thank you. And thanks everybody for watching. I see uh, still 45 people watching in total on Twitch and YouTube combined. 50 likes. I appreciate it. Thank you guys for uh, all the support. Hope you guys are all enjoying it. I know that I am. I'm having a lot of fun with this game actually. I wasn't sure if I was going to enjoy this game that much. I bought it like ages ago. But I kind of forgot why I bought it. <laughs> and now I am reminded... It is a pretty cool game. All right, so what can we do here? We can make a ship. We can decide... Oh, this is awesome. We can decide how big it is. We can decide how big it's going to be. We're gonna, we can decide the carving. A dragon, a wolf. So that's going to be on the front. Oh, that's awesome. Let's do a wolf or wolf clan. There we go. Uh, we can do a small sale, medium sale, large sale. Wow, okay. And that determines your speed, of course. A small sale will be 0 0.9, 1.1, and 1.25. I 
Gonna need a lot of resources for that. Looks like you cannot put in an order, so you do need to wait until you have the right resources. We can build a tent as well. What is that gonna do? That's probably gonna be good. I know that in like like IRL, those tents were used to keep the water out and to keep the crew dry as well, of course. It's gonna cost us a lot more skins. But I think it will be worth it. Crew size 4. We sh so we can take 4 teams in this one. Mm -hmm. Need room for shrew puffles? True. True. Alright, so the size... So the tent and everything else cost the same, no matter the size of the ship. Yeah, so it's better to just build a large one, otherwise it's basically costing you more. Because you can just use less crew size. Yeah, we have the we have the skins. We're just waiting for the for the wood now. We're just waiting for the wood. I want to have more wood cutters. I want to have another one over there. I want to have a wood cutter uh, like over here. So they can cut out there. And I want to have a wood cutter further out here. And I want to send them all the way out there. We we'll need a lot more. And I want to upgrade this one. Increases building radius by 10%. Increases warehouse keepers by 1. Unlocks new buildings and technologies. Let's go. Nice. So now the warehouse can have another person in there. No, apparently not. Never mind. <laughs> this one can have another person though. And we have new technologies. Possibly. In here. Oh, yeah. Now, okay. Now we have the ability to take these. But I'm guessing we'll need this first. Maybe. Alright, we'll see. We'll see what happens. Alright, this one is made. Put woodcutters in there. Oh, we don't have that many people anymore either. We need more houses. Alright, let's go back to these boats. Let's explore for a little bit. Let's keep exploring. Actually, I should have just kept them on uh, on automatic while I was doing that. Oh, it looks like this is the end right here. Alright. The boat's ashore. How does this work? As you wish. Um Okay, there we go. It's a little little difficult. Doesn't really want to work all the time. There we go. <laughs> Put the boats inside of each other. Sure, that will work. All right, now what do we do?
Let's explore. I'm guessing we're gonna have to go... Yeah, we're gonna have to go this way. This is where we have to go. So actually, let's go this way first. Let's first explore. Because I want to I wanna go here with a boat as well. With an actual, actual large ship. I want to go there. Let's go back to base. Oh, we can upgrade all these houses now. Why is that? Why why can we upgrade these all of a sudden? Is that because we upgraded the Jarl thing? Maybe. Perfect. Because I needed more people. That's perfect. Okay. Where do we have all our woodcutters right now? Alright, this one... Let's do this one over there. Alright, that one over there. Let's do this one. Yeah, that one is over there is fine. Actually, we could do them over here as well. Let's do them over there. We'll be further away, but that's okay. Uh, this one we'll do over here. That's good. We'll do... This one out here <clears throat> for now. And then this one, I guess we will do out here. There we go. Perfect. We will have a lot of wood production going. A whole lot of wood production. Awesome. And let's go back here. Let's explore. All right. Don't think there will be much here, but maybe. Maybe there's abandoned camp or something. <clears throat> Is it a frozen, frozen lake? Oh, hello, wolves! Kill, Kill the wolves! Yeah, right, well done. So what's that power again? Valkyrie Rage increases power by 50% and speed by 30% for 15 seconds. Oh, that's really All good. Right. That's pretty darn good. Enemy nearby. Attack! Let's go! Attack Kill. the enemy! Perfect. As you wish. That's good stuff. And I cannot believe that this, um, that this campaign mission is uh, taking so long, actually. That's pretty fun. Oh, enemies over there in the snow. Kill them all. Get them all. Ah, easy. As you wish. Ooh, there's something up there. Oh, there's multiple ways up here. Oh, we actually we actually made our way there. I thought we had to go that way, but I guess it doesn't really matter. I guess you can go multiple ways. All right, cool, cool. Let's get those things. All right, we have enough for a boat now. We have enough for large wolf tent, everything. Build the boat. It'll take 58 something. It's already 12%. That's pretty fast, actually. That's no problem. 
I like these houses. Pretty cool. Oh, we can increase the herbalist. Level up the herbalist. Mm -hmm. What do we need for upgrading this? We need more Bach iron. Have we seen any Bach iron anywhere? Like out here? But oh, there's actually some Bach iron out there. Um, we have two collectors collecting stone right now. Let's get more collectors. There we go. Let's get two more collectors there. Is there anything out here as well? Mm -hmm. Doesn't seem like it. No, don't think so. Yeah, but that is iron right there we can take. So that'll be good. Speed it up. Oh, the boat is ready. Awesome. All right, let's take our army. So we can hold, it's going to hold four armies, I believe. Hmm. So let's get our elite dudes. Hmm. Uh, let's get, or actually, let's first go to the herbalist. Let's make sure they're all hmm. healed up. Um, so axes, elite dudes, the spears, and one archer. There we go. Then we have a team of only four teams. They're all healed up as much as possible. Let's get to the boat. I don't think it's necessary. I don't think we'll need to send more over there, but I want to do it anyway. I want to use the ship. Alright, there we go. <laughs> awesome. Now let's just send it all the way out there. Just because we can. Right. Let's go up here. Hmm. Right. Can't go up there. We took down that. Can we get up there? All Looks right. like we can. Let's get the boat. Oh, we're under attack. Where? Oh, over here. Oh, I see. I was like, wait, what? What happened? How? On my way. I bring the boat over there. There we go. All right. Well, let's go this way. On my way. Ah, there's an and there's a gate. We won't let you pass. All right, they will let us pass for resources. As you wish. Ah, so if you don't have the resources, you can go the other way around. What is this? Champions, Jarl, your warriors look like weaklings. We can train them. Sure, train them. Why not? Most. If something up there. You can see a lot more. Awesome. There's some wolves out there. I got it. Ooh, looks like there's a lot more to explore. This brings us all the way out there. Oh, so if we help, okay, so if we helped these guys, they would have given us a boat, and then we could have sailed all the way out here. Okay, so there's there's a lot of different ways Almost. to get to where you need to go. Looks like because we could have we could we used this, so we paid them to get through to get to our objective. We could have gone this way, which we did. And we could have used the boat over there from the fishermen's there. 
to get out here. I wonder if there's more out there in the fog there. There might be. All right. All right, but let's go over here now. Uh, was there anything that we missed out here? I don't, I don't think we missed anything out here now. Let's come back this way just in case. Bring these guys over there. Okay, yeah, there's nothing left. Let's guard the boats with those. Always need to leave someone behind. There we go, let's get there. Let's do this. Warriors, today the mighty Odin has spoken. Blessing unlocked. We need to avenge our brothers and sisters, and there is no place for traitors in this realm. There's no man that can withstand the wrath of the gods. Nice. Mission complete. Alright, awesome. That was pretty good. I, I really liked that campaign mission. It took a long time to get through there. But that's basically because I was trying to, to build an actual city first. Which is kind of what you're supposed to do as well. But yeah, I had a lot of I had a lot of fun doing it. There's a time when the snake sheds its skin. Thus begins the time of the wolf, shift and deadly. After establishing a foothold here, Gorm and his warriors went on a search for Yiddersil's sprout. Alright, so now we have a new city to worry about. I got it. Oh boy. Alrighty then. Let's build ourselves a little home. Let's build a home. Uh, start building like right here. Well, two houses. Oh, we can make a burial mount now. Marketplace. Altar. Alright, so we're gonna have a couple of different things here as now. Uh, we have an orchard now as well. A tanner. We had already an inn. Oh, the inn is new. Um, Alright, cool. Couple of new things. Awesome. Let's worry about food first. Get some fishermen up and running. We'll need to get some wood as well. Actually, no, let's do first. <laughs> first a woodcutter, because apparently we don't have that much. Let's go and place it. Let's place it out there. Let's place two of them immediately. That'll be good. We need a lot of wood. Beautiful. And let's start chopping down some wood over there. Or I guess over here first would be wise. Closer to home. There we go. Get all of that. Mm -hmm. I think the woodcutter's hut needs to be in the woods. Not necessarily. You can place those banners around and then they will uh, they will collect in that area. 
But it is good to have them close so that they don't have to walk back and forth that much, I guess. It would be better to build them closer to the to the forests. But eventually the trees are going to be cut and then you need to move the banner anyway. Sure, you kind of have to micromanage to make sure that you're always receiving wood because the trees are going to be gone after a little while. They do grow back. Over time they do grow back, so you can just micromanage between two or three of them and you're good. I need a lot more resources. You like the banner idea? Yeah, it's kind of like Dawn of Men. In Dawn of Men, you have the same thing, right? You have like a banner for gathering fish. So you place the banner near the water and it will gather fish there. You have a gathering flag for berries. You have a gathering flag for sticks. It's kind of like that. But here you have to build a, a, an actual building first. In Dawn of Men, you don't need a building for those banners. But here you do. Here you have to build the woodcutter for that. And the same for, uh, for stones. For stone collection. I'm going to build the well right there. I'll do another house right there. So what is this? This is a scout? Yeah, we have a scout and we have a shield bearer. Okay. Um. Mm -mm -mm. I wish we could have the scouts automatically exploring, but that's not how it works. They want us to scout the area. Reconnaissance. On my way. So I guess we will uh, we will do that for a little bit. Let's see where our, where we can defend and where we cannot. There's a tower up there. We should try to get that. Hopefully we don't get attacked trying to get there. Is there going to be an enemy village over there? <laughs> it might be. It would be cool. Oh, there are enemies. Plenty of enemies. But at least we can see them. I got it. Yeah, let's get back here. There's a couple of wolves out there. Let's build a training hall. Let's build a training hall in the front. Mm, where's the herbalist again? The building. Oh yeah, we need we need tier two Jarl's home. The music is beautiful. Yeah, I really like the sound. Sound design is really good. What is this? Oh, content. Now we're gonna have to worry about content apparently as well. We didn't have to worry right. about that before. Right, looks like there's a little mountain over here. That's good. So we're safe over there. We're safe all the way over there. Are we surrounded by mountain over here? It looks like it. Alright. 
That's pretty good. So this is the only way someone can get, can, can come in and the water, I suppose. Yeah, looks like it. Awesome. I like that. I like being safe. <clears throat> being safe is good. Being safe means you won't die to death. That's awesome. All right, let's bring my units over here then. Where the enemy can come from. So now you can see, um, genius, that... Because there's no wood in the banners area anymore, there's actually a flag, a, a banner above the building, meaning that we have to place it somewhere else. And now they can go, can go over there. So you can keep moving the banner whenever it's emptied out. I really like the snow as well. The people walking through the snow, making little roads. That's awesome. Yeah, we are going to have to worry about food soon-ish. <clears throat> Let's make that. Let's also make... Um... Let's make this one a hunter's hut. Do I see any animals here to hunt? I don't think I see any animals here. So we probably have to go out into the wilds there to get animals. Oh yeah, there's deer here. There's deer here, yep. Yeah. Awesome, wild animals. Right, so that's not too far away. That's pretty close. <clears throat> You're definitely going to use the boost code to get the game. Yeah, if you get the game on, um, on Epic, on the Epic Game Store, you can uh, use the code BOOSTER. And that, uh, that will help me out a little bit. And I will get a... I don't, I don't know how much... I think it's like a couple of percentages of the value of the game. I'm not exactly sure how it works. Not 100% sure. Alright, we have to go out and fight those wolves because they are awfully close. Attack! Attack! Yeah, we're doing good. We can actually make more troops now. I forgot about that. Let's get some X-Men. Awesome. Bring this guy back there. We can scout here. Oh, there's actually something out in the water. Ah, so you can explore and find things in the water as well. Interesting. Let's have somebody working at the fisherman now. And let's get ourselves a collector. We don't have those yet. Let's get a collector right there. And let's get another collector over here, or maybe, maybe over here. Sure, another one over there. Doesn't matter. The closer, the better, but it's fine if it takes them a little while to walk. That's all right. All right we got some X-Men now. Bring them over there. Discontent rising. Hunger. Uh-oh. That's not good. Yeah, we're working on it. We just made a fisherman. We already have hunters going. 
That should bring in a little bit of food as well. And let's have some people working over here. Discontent is bad, I'm okay. <laughs> yeah, it's not it's it's alright. It will be fine. I'm sure it will be fine. Nothing to worry about. I don't know how to stop that from uh, or what to do about that except for hunger. Let's see. Feed your people, social buildings near households, proper funeral for fallen warriors. Uh, to reduce level of discontent, organize feasts in the inn, send a celebrational boat from the burial mound. Oh, I see. So burning the dead on the water, basically. Oh, that's fun. I like that. I really like that. That's cool. Let's speed it up a little bit. Yeah, it's rising. We have to be careful. We're getting food there. We're getting food there. We should probably try to make another fisherman hut if we can. We don't have uh, any stone. Let's get our stone then. That one is out of wood again. Alright, discontent is... Is it also reducing after a while? It seems like it's going up whenever they don't, they're hungry, but it's not going down when they are fed, I believe. But it only goes down with the burial rituals and the inn celebrations, apparently. Alright, that's, uh, that's gonna be a problem. I want to make another warrior. Right, let's go out and fight those wolves. Let's go. There we go, got the wolves. On Let's go get route. some supplies here, hopefully there will be food. That would be awesome. Should be able to make another fisherman now, yep. Good, good, built that. Uh, didn't... Yeah, didn't give me any food, I think. Sadly. Let's get rid of those wolves. Discontent rising again. Alright, let's get back to safety. Oh wait, we have more food now. Did we get that food from killing the wolves? Probably not. Yeah, but it's good that we have we have some more food now. It's probably being brought from the from the hut to like the main thing. I have someone working there. And let's get another one going. Meaning we're going to need another house as well. For them to live in. Yeah, we're doing alright. We're doing alright. 
Beautiful. More people can live there now. And as their happiness rises, more people are going to live there as well. Mm, we can increase this. Don't think we want to do that just yet. Or maybe it will allow us to do... But this is tier 3. Hmm. Oh, we can do a burial mount right now. And an altar. The altar provides passive discontent or keys for the village. The bonus does not stack with additional altars. Oh. Okay, so this is good. So we can get one altar. Let's get that over here. Uh, or maybe we should do it on top next to the mountain or something. No, let's do the altar in the middle of the village. I think that will be cool. Right there. Because the, um, yeah, the burial celebration things or whatever will come from there. No, from the, will come from the burial mound. Whatever, it's fine. It will work. The altar will also decrease this content. Awesome, that's good. That's what we need. It's already 26 out of 100. That's pretty high. <laughs> Let's get more trees. Uh, we have a lot of wood, actually. We have a lot of wood already. Um, three people working there. Three people working there. Awesome. Seriously. Good to see you. Welcome. I am seriously happy to see you. Welcome. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Let's get another collector. There we go. Don't think we need a third one, but it will speed things up. There we go. More fishermen's. We are running low on food again. <clears throat> yeah, we have one person working there to Wow, so even if you have four people working there, it doesn't do anything, it seems. <clears throat> or maybe it's just really, really, really low. Yeah, let's keep adding more fishermen. Oh, my mouse is freaking out. Oh, there we go. We're good. <laughs> it's always seriously a pleasure to see you. Thank you. <laughs> right back at you. Mm -hmm. Beautiful, some more houses. Is it going down now? Well, with four people there. It says zero per second. But I think it might just be a very low percentage. Very low amount. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. There we go. Now we have five fishermen's. Fisherman huts. That should give us enough food for a little while. Mm -mm -mm. This is a really great looking game. Yeah, I really like it, Clovis. I'm having a lot of fun playing it. 
I, can, I, I am I actually a little mad that I didn't play it earlier because I bought this game ages ago when I saw it first, I think, being played by Raptor. The first time he played it. Uh, and I bought it immediately, I believe. And I'm a little mad that I haven't played it up until this point because I'm having so much fun. I should have played it uh, earlier. <laughs> I'm a little bit mad about myself. At myself. Oh, controlling this is uh, a pain. Let's see. Field of view. Enable physical focus. Or oh, like focus on a certain object. Not sure what that does. Uh, resolution multiplier. Facts, bloom. Exposure. Contrast. No, no contrast. Yeah, that's weird. Temperature. Oh, yeah. More temperature. Do it like this. Show UI? No. Capture screenshot. I don't know where it's gonna... Where it's gonna appear, but we'll see. Beautiful. Um... You're getting sleepy, Stormy? Been lurking, but now it's time for me to leave. Alright, see you, Red. Thanks for being here. And hope you have a wonderful evening playing Medieval Dynasty, I think you said. Have fun. Oh, my mouse is acting up again. Why is it being so weird all of a sudden? Alright. Is it going down at all? I don't think so. Alright, let's increase this then. The people working here. At least 0 0.1 per second. There we go. It's becoming better. <laughs> bum, 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 bum. There we go. We're collecting stone there. We're collecting stone with that one. Uh, that one is collecting stone, but I think this one I'm going to move over here. Collect that bog iron. It'll be useful for the future. Getting that up, uh, up and running. We're going to need to get some more. Oh, let's get the farmhouse. Yeah, let's get the farmhouse. Let's get that one right there. Perfect. It'll give us more food as well and skins. Man, what's going on with my mouse? It's going crazy all of a sudden. Hold on, guys. Let me uh, try to clean it up or something. It's like the sensor isn't working correctly. Oh, no! Don't go out of the screen. Keep it here. There we go. All right. Get some more fishermen huts.
There we go, it works. Perfect. Maximize. The mouse is possessed? Yeah, I feel like it is. I feel like it is indeed. Upgrade all the houses, there we go. We have a lot more people. Spill tea? No, I don't think I spilled tea at all. At all. Oh, hey, Swen. Good to see you. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're having a good day. All right, let's have people working at the farmhouse. Let's have them produce a lot of meat and a lot of skins. It's awesome. I don't think we have a lot of people working here yet. No, we don't. There we go. Max that out. Um... Max this out, just because we can. Make sure the discontent goes down quickly. Awesome. Loki is having fun, one of his practical jokes. I guess so. Yeah, you might be right about that one. Wouldn't surprise me. Wouldn't surprise me. Now right, we can do a burial mound. Let's do that one right here. Next to the altar. We do burial mounds over here. So, like, what does it do? Stores bodies from fallen warriors. If there are more corpses than available burial space, villagers' discontent will rise. Okay. That's fine. That's all right. Is there a flickering in the screen every now and then? Sometimes when I when I, I see in the in the corner of my eye I see something happening on Streamlabs. Is there a flickering sometimes happening that I'm not aware of? Maybe it's just the application. No? Can you pick up can you pick the color of your flags? Um I don't think so. I don't think so. A funeral fire ceremonial boat. Fallen warriors count reduced by 30. Fallen warriors count reduced by 10. Reduces discontent by 20. Huh. Launch the ceremonial boat. Reduce discontent. Takes clothing, bog iron, steel, and wood. And this just takes spires. Okay, cool. Alright, so as long as we are keeping up with this, we should be fine. And we have this to lower the discontent. Um, actually, let's do a healer's hut here. As close as possible. And let's do an elder's hole as well. Because they like having them close. Build a lot of things. Mm -hmm. A lot of trees out there. Let's get them all. Thunderstorm, yeah. Yeah, the weather is really cool as well. Look at this. This is beautiful. Yeah, the rain is really good looking. I really like this. It did a good job. It did a really good job. Mm -hmm. 
That's a beautiful one. <laughs> Healer's hut. <clears throat> and we have now an elder hall. Um, ooh, am I gonna go for the wolves again? I think I am, because I have I didn't really have a chance to do much last time with the wolf clan. Discontent will drop by 10 for each killed enemy. Oh wow, there we go. Yeah, as soon as I get this ability, that'll be good. Let's go Wolf Clan. Wolf Clan once again. Awesome. Alright, and these people are a lot happier now. We have a lot... Oh, enemy army appeared. Uh-oh. Where? Oh, over there. Oh, it's the other Vikings. Uh-oh. All right, let's get back. Let's get back. Oh no, we cannot. We cannot even train anything. We don't have a. We don't have any defense, and I don't have any um, any iron. Actually, we need a blue Murray. Let's get that blue Murray going. <clears throat> We're gonna need a tanner as well. Kill them all! No, not the scouts. Don't attack the scouts. Kill I mean, I guess to help out. Die, you scum. Ooh, are we gonna make it? gonna be close yeah we're gonna be fine oh another attack no we're not gonna be fine never mind we are not gonna be fine all right we need to call a militia I forgot that that was possible how does that work though? What? I guess they are pretty weak. Peasant militia, yeah. Alright, we survived. I got it. Are we got it? Oh, there's raiders there. Oh, that's cool. Yes, those raiders attacked. Ah, oh, awesome. Can I take that boat? Oh, I wonder. Let's see if we can take that boat. Is it possible? I want to go and see if that uh, if that will work. That would be awesome. Now we're finally getting steel now. We should probably go ahead and work on a defense. Mm. It is going to be a lot of wood. Oh, my. <laughs> We cannot even make it go all the way. Alright, this is fine. A giant wall around the beginning. Once we once we extend the, the Jarl home again, once we level it up, then we can probably make it go to the wall there. Yeah, and now let's do a gate. Let's do a gate, like right over here. That's a good place for a gate.
There we go, a little hallway again. That will be good. And look at this building. The building is really good as well. Did we take the boat? Right. We did. We we took their boat. <laughs> That's awesome. Let's go here. Is this a friendly village? I think so. Yeah, fishing village. Um, exchange resources. We cannot help just yet. Yeah, we'll, we'll help later. Let's get this. Whatever it is. Nice. Now we don't have to build our own boat. We just stole it from someone else trying to fight us. Much better. That is how we do it. Oh, look at that mighty wall. That mighty palisade. Going pretty well. Let's build a smith. Hmm. Let's bring the hunter out there. Now we're doing on steel. We're doing okay on steel, I guess. We're using a lot of it as well. We need steel to do these level ups. We were making clothing. Resource depleted. Oh, that stone right there. I see. Okay. All right, so let's go uh, with this one. Let's gather that stone right there. With this one, let's gather that bog iron there. That'll be fine. We have a weapon smith now. A sharpen our axes. Reinforce shoes. Longbows. Even though we don't have any archers yet. On my way. Now where can we go with this ship? Let's um... I guess we should just put it on exploration for now. Well actually no. Because we don't have any defending troops right now. We probably should not go too far away. Yeah, for now, let's just go back, bring back the boat to our own shores. And I will use it later when we have some more troops. When we don't have to worry about any of that. Now well, it looks like there's a storming coming. I want to make more troops, but at the same time, I feel like I should wait. Um, and the wall has been finished. And now we have the gate as well. You know, we have at, le at least a little bit of a defense. Right, let's bring these over here. As you wish. We still have the peasant militia. We can probably disband that later. If we want to. Yeah, we can disband it. I don't think... I don't know if they take anything from you. Like extra food or something. I don't know. We'll find out. Mm-hmm. <laughs> We have seven seal. We need to get more of the Bogdan iron. What we have right now isn't going to be enough. I 
I want more. I need more. We can level up to a higher tier now as well. Which means we can do the watchtower then. Alright, let's do that. Nice. Now if we have five steel, we can start building the watchtower. And then we can have a watchtower defending this area as well on either side. Ooh, more enemies. Another raider, another boat from over there, I guess, I'm guessing. And those are shield bearers. We're gonna have to be careful. They don't have anything. Let's call upon more militia. I got it. Oh boy. That was four striking down our house. The gods aren't happy with us. Yeah, the gate is open. We'll leave it open for now. I got it. Are they not going through the gate? Oh, they closed they closed the gate for some reason. Yeah, we'll keep it We'll keep it closed, I guess. Oh boy. Okay. I wasn't expecting them to go all the way around. I was not expecting that. Kill them all. Kill them all. Go back, go back, go back. No? Alright, never mind. Right, these are just peasants, I don't think they will do well. Oh, actually... I think they're doing alright, actually. Not that bad. Nice. Do we have a greater building area now? We do. But not good enough yet. We need to make the wall all the way up until this point. Alright, awesome. On my way. I wish there was an easier way of seeing if the gate was open or not. Would be nice if it said it right there, for example. If you clicked on it and it would change the logo there open or close or if it said it something like here because you can see it visually closing and opening over there you have to lock you have to like get close first for that to happen there we go open it up now we have no troops except for that peasant militia <laughs> worked okay though <clears throat> Wasn't too much of a problem. Let's level up the well. Let's get a watchtower here. Get one over there first. Get a second one over there. Beautiful. And then let's make this wall better. I think if I'm do if I'll do this, it should be fine. Possibly. But just in case. Let's just follow this and build it all the way up there. 
There we go. Then we know for sure. Do, 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 do. Right, these watchtowers have been built. Put men in them. And they shoot. Yeah, they should have archers in there now. Shooting the enemies. Beautiful. All right, we have a basic defense. We have a basic defense right there. I'm guessing some of them are going to get ashore here as well at some point. Trying to anyway. I'm guessing that's what's going to happen. All right, but for now, we still don't have enough steel. Oh, man. Thought we would have more steel by now. All right, let's get ourselves... We need, we need to go raiding. We need troops. I can't wait any longer. Let's just get an archer... Um, and we should get an X-Men at least. At least two of those. We will disband the peasant armies. There we go. And then these will go out. And let's see what we can find. Almost. Sneaking around. Let's have the element of surprise. Beautiful. Taking them out before they can do anything. As you wish. Almost anyway. That's pretty good. Search the camp. Hopefully it has some good stuff for us. Oh yeah. A bunch of steel. Awesome. It was definitely worth it. We should go to that village as well. See if they see if we can help them. Hopefully they will do something for us. Oh, hello there. Oh, another raiding party. Now let's search this first and then let's quickly go back. Actually, I feel like we should be fine there. We have those towers, so we might be fine. Close the gate. We built the wall, right? Yeah, the wall is done. They shouldn't be able to get in there. Oh, yeah, that's working. All right, good. I'll be fine. I got it. All right, I have another boat here. Oh, another raiding party. Uh, no, <laughs> I didn't mean to do that. Joe. Joe, I got it. Oh yeah, there's the there's the boat. So they had a ship and a boat. All right, these are gonna be fine. Those archers are nothing as well. Easy. Yeah, we can trade with them. Exchange the resources for, for a boat. Oh, they're giving me a boat. Ah. Oh. So is that the boat that they're giving us? That one right there? It's not really that we need it. I mean, we literally have a ship here. That can have all our armies much better. Almost. 
There we go. Let's bring that boat back there. The ship. There we go. We can upgrade once again, looks like. But first, let's do some upgrading here. Elite shield bearers. Let's get a blacksmith upgrade. And let's get a berserker now. Unlocks berserker recruitment in the training field. Berserker can charge towards selected location, ramming units along the way. I didn't actually see the berserker option down here when we did get it last time. Training hall. Oh wait, they're talking about a training field? Recruitment in training field. Because okay, so maybe that, so that's something else then. It's something we don't have yet, a training field. Elite shield bearer unlocked. Awesome. Wait, where's my second ship? Maybe it only shows one, but there's actually two there. Now let's go to the healer's hut. There we go, heal up. Beautiful. Getting those upgrades. We have a blacksmith, didn't we? Did I make a blacksmith anywhere? I think I did. Oh yeah, there we go. Weaponsmith, I mean. Let's get reinforced shields and armor, axes, more movement speed. Let's upgrade all of it. It's gonna be so much better. We're gonna be so strong. They don't know what's gonna hit them. I feel like we need another one of those bloomeries. It's really slow. One of them. We need a second one. Wow, look at all the food that we have. 1,000. It's crazy. Let's get more housing. Can we place multiple, like holding control or something? No, shift didn't do anything either. Alt, no. Yeah, it's worth a try. Let's worth a try. Well, let's build an inn. We can build that now. Boom. And we can build a warehouse. Built a warehouse right there. Upgrading all those houses. Have people working here. Get more steel. The Bogdan iron is halfway there. All right. Okay, the inn. That's all new stuff. Um, all right, so we have an inn now. We can have people working in there. Max capacity. There we go. We can have a feast size. You need mead to have a feast, but I, I don't even know how to get that. All right, so that's interesting. Uh, there must be a way to get mead, but it doesn't tell us yet. Maybe using the marketplace? No, because I need meat to make the marketplace. Oh, we haven't built a temple yet. Let's do that. We built a temple right down here. Um. Yeah. Here's fine. Could have a windmill. 
Oh, the orchard. The orchard is probably what's going to give us the meat, of course. So how does that work? Orchard produces fruit from gathered... Uh, food from gathered fruit. The quantity of gathered food increases over time. Okay. Let's make one of those. Maybe, um, well, let's do that over there. There we go. It's a nice place for it, I think. Oh, enemies incoming. make more watchtowers it's not that we need them right now but I'm guessing that the rates are going to be more often than in higher quantities it's better to be prepared Speed it game up a little bit. Right, so now we have an orchard. Oh, it's not producing any meat. It's just producing food. Hmm. Yeah, don't know how we're gonna get how we're supposed to get that. That's fine though. We'll be all right. Get the wood out there. Oh, hold up. I see it. Okay. <clears throat> Collection banner. Pick the forested, pick the forested area and change it into an uh, apiary. The denser the forest, the more efficient your hives will be. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. Boom. Turn that into an apiary. And that will give me the honey, aka the mead, right? Hey, Jansen. Is this game better than Banished? I haven't played Banished in a long time. So I don't really have a... I don't really have a good memory of it. But I think... It, it, it is different than Banished. It's a, it's a little bit different from Banished. But I like it more, personally. I personally like it more than Banished. But I wouldn't say it's better because it's... It's just a little different. I upgrade the Jarl's home again. Nice. Uh, so are we now getting mead? Are we doing it? Oh yeah, there's beehives now here. <clears throat> oh yeah, 8, 16, 24. Awesome, yeah, we're producing it now. Finally. Okay, that's awesome. Oh, our healer's hut has improved as well now. That's good. Now we have plenty of food. We're finally starting to produce the mead. Which means we can do different upgrades again as well now. We can do a regular army. Discontent goes down by 0 0.2 per second if you have at least 5 teams recruited. Discontent will drop by 10 for, e uh, for each killed enemy. There we go. <laughs> get that one first. Recruited units are level 2. Let's get that one. Really important. Now we can get a lot of good upgrades that we couldn't have before. Now we need to repair this. Send builders. Come on. Fresh blood unlocked. This is being repaired. Can't tell. I click the button to repair it, but it doesn't like. 
he doesn't register or something. Oh, wait, we can do settlers? <clears throat> Builds outposts in designated area. Oh, are you kidding me? I can build multiple settle settlements? Oh, that's cool. I did not realize I can build multiple settlements. Okay, this game just got a lot cooler. <laughs> So you're not limited to the space you see here. You can actually send out settlers to make outposts. Awesome. And we can level up this guy again if we want to. Oh wait, that takes... Oh, that takes steel. Okay, we have to be careful with that. We're gonna run really low on the, on the steel if we keep this up. We can make a marketplace now. Let's do that. Because that will probably be helpful. That will give us an option maybe to uh, to buy steel. Possibly. <clears throat> I'm guessing. Uh, teachings of the elders are engraved on this surface. Increases the damage of units in its vicinity. Place of worship. Um, okay. Mm -mm -mm. I want this one. Allows you to heal and refill units in bandit camps. This is good. Good stuff. Unit recruitment doesn't require food. Let's get it. Let's get that one. Let's just get all of it. Bum, 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 bum. Okay, so the iron is gone now over here. Yeah, it is. So let's get that stone, I guess. And there's nothing else here to collect either. Yeah, that stone is really the last thing. Now we don't have any iron or no stone left. It looks like we can exchange here. <clears throat> okay, so this is what we have. This is the tradesman. So how does this work? Um, I want that. Uh, so we can sell 50 wood. Or free steel? That's not a lot. Hmm. 80 clothing for 24. Food. Oh, there we go. We can sell a lot of food for a lot of steel. Yeah, let's just sell 750 food. There we go. Boom. And it's instantly as well. That's awesome. That's really quick. Plus, it's instant. That's super fast. <laughs> and now we can throw feasts if we want to. Let's just do one for fun. Let's throw a feast. Nothing happens. Oh, sad face. I was hoping that actually like something happened, like a cutscene or something. But all right. <clears throat> Yeah, let's see about upgrades. One more upgrade there. Let's do more upgrades here. And I guess let's start exploring with these guys. I think there's something over here. On my way. Oh, hello there. There's a village. Does it need our help? Concerned villagers. Hail warriors, you should be wary. Here, here are the hunting grounds of the clan of the bear. Oh, right there. Their berserker uh, are mighty and strong, just like their king deep in the woods. We would not venture into their settlement 
please help us build better defenses so we might just survive when attacked um or right, find a way to deal with the bear clan all right but they are asking me to help with defenses can we not do that i guess not search for the tree of life bloody competition find a way to deal with the clan of the bear well we can deal with them by just killing them on my way should be easy enough right easy solution oh we have a watchtower here let's get it There we go. Some bandits out there. All right. Wait out there. We can upgrade our hole again. Let's do it. Oh yeah, we're all done collecting now. Our collector's hut have nothing left to collect. Alright. We might need more food, actually. Are we losing food? We do have to be careful with that. Let's just in case... Get ourselves another... Farm thingy. There we go, another farmhouse. Don't think we need a windmill just yet, but um, let's get one anyway. Oh, I don't have enough. Don't have enough, apparently. Okay. As you wish. Kill. All right, let's go. Oh, that was easy. Oh, there's something out there. What is that? All right. Got our watchtower here. Building under attack. Uh-oh. <laughs> no match for me, though. Alright, that didn't show us much. Showed us that. And this. Card quest traveling tradesman merchants offers uh, travelers in exchange for resources show me your goods hmm I see well I guess we can um... yeah let's exchange a little bit more there we go sure why not all right so that's just a free a free merchant So we could have gotten more iron more quickly if we rushed towards there. What's this then? Champions. Jarl, your warriors are weaklings. We can train them for a small price. Sure. Let's do that. Train them. Oh, a bear! Oh no! Kill the bear! A bear is down. Is that another trader? Oh yeah, another tra traveling tradesman. Unnecessary, right. having so many. What is this then? Search it. Ah, oh, nice. Some rocks and some uh, skins. Alright, so there's nothing else over here, it seems. There's something up there. This might actually be a really good place for another settlement. Um, I'm gonna have to keep my eyes open for... Resources like the iron and stone. Because we don't have any anymore. 
I mean, I could use the merchants for that or the, or the market that I just got myself. Oh, there's bandits here? Oh, yeah. There we go. Beautiful. A lot of good stuff. Almost. Let us hide in the forest. You can probably also go that way. Explore this way. That's going to be fun. Um, alright. We need some more wood. Let's get that wood right there. And let's hire people for the farmhouse. Get more meat. We are slowly depleting our food, I believe. So we do have to be careful with that. Uh, let's hold a ceremonial boat thing let's do that that'll be fun we don't have any discontent but it will get rid of some of the some of the people in the burial mound speed that up let's have them working on that There we go. Set it ablaze. Alright, there we go. And it's sinking. Nice. Alright, cool. And now we have less fallen warriors in there. Which will make sure that they won't be discontent. Let's upgrade the houses. Yeah, we're doing good. Any more upgrades that we can do? Not yet. Looks like. Any here? Oh, yeah. We can upgrade a bunch here. But oh, it is almost emptied out. Let's move over, uh, move over here, maybe. You might actually need more woodcutters at this point. Yeah, let's get more, um, let's get more woodcutters. make it right over there speed it up of course we're using a lot of it to level up level up our town and then let's just get wood all the way out there oh we're gonna be attacked soon let me build up there Yeah, I cannot build up there. I can build there. Will that work? Sure. It won't do much, but it will reach them a little bit. That's good enough for me. Oh, are they killing the peasants? No, they're not. Okay, cool. Did the door automatically close, or are peasants allowed in? Oh yeah, looks like it automatically closes. Oh, even better. Bum, 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 bum.
I think like I feel like I want to have another woodcutter. <clears throat> Yeah, let's do another one. Need a lot more. A lot more resources. Beat that up. Make sure it's built. Then let's get this one over there. That one goes over there. Some people in there. That one goes over there. There we go. Getting a lot of resources from there. It'll definitely speed it up. And then now, let's finally start building ourselves an army. Do we have any more upgrades we can do first? Oh yeah. Upgrade that. The shields. What do we need for this? More wood. Let's get that. What do we need for this? More wood and the bog iron. Oh really? We need the bog iron as well? Okay, so let's say, um, let's sell that for Bach Iron. Let's sell half of it, there we go. 82 Bach Iron, that's plenty. And we just need a little bit more wood, which we should be getting shortly if we speed it up. Beautiful, sharpen the axis. And then we can level it up again after that. Um, oh no, actually, we're done. Yeah, we have it leveled up all the way. Max level. What about this? Ah, there we go. Field camp. Allows units to heal in bandit camps and refill units. Increase watchtower shooting speed by 20%. And skilled warriors units battle abilities cooldown are reduced by 50%. All right, there we go. That is the good stuff. That's the good stuff. Field camp unlocked. Oh, wait, that was the... Wait, hold on. That was the field camp, this one? Uh. Oh, that's, that's the field camp. Is that where you get... Berserkers, then? Wait, Berserkers are in here. Oh yeah, okay, yeah, now we can get Berserkers, cool. Yeah, so we had Spearmen over here, but now it moved up here. Team charges towards the selected location, ramming units along the way. Awesome. Alright, let's get a better squad. We have ourselves some Elite Shield Bearers, we have Berserkers... Uh, we have spearmen, we have an axeman, we have archers, two archers. Oh, we cannot do that many. Okay. I said another training hall. Let's get another training hall. Like right there. It's not super slow, but just in case we are going to have to fight a massive force of enemies, for example, right there. Might be useful if we can refit, resupply our units quickly. Actually, couldn't we do that here now as well? Um, not sure how that works. All right, more enemies coming. Constantly being attacked. On my way. Alright, so we have the shield, the archer, the axe, and the berserker. Uh, so let's get... Which one did we miss? Axeman, archer... Wait, which one is the, which one is which? This is a berserker, spearman, elite shield bearer... Oh, yeah, and there, okay, there is the archer, yeah, okay. 
And another archer there. Oh, it did register. Oh, we just didn't see it pop up there. Okay. All right, cool. So let's do another spearman, berserker, shield. And let's do another axeman. And another archer. We're going to have a huge force. A massive force eva invading the enemy. It's going to be freaking awesome. Speed it up. Let's get another uh, tower out here. And let's get another tower out here. There we go. We have so many towers now standing here. All just shooting enemies as they come in. All right, they're almost done. They each have one more unit to produce. And then we are ready for battle. That one is finished. That one is finished. Oh my. As you wish. There we go. That's what I call an army. Yeah, that will be awesome. And they're all level 2, apparently, as well. So that's one of the skills that we had. Bring them over there. We still have those. Let's see, can we bring those to... The abandoned camp and heal them up? I think that was something we could do. Not sure how that works though. On my way. Yeah, whatever, it's fine. Let's bring them over there to the front line. Have them all selected. All right. Oh, this is gonna be cool, guys. Should probably not attack during the winter though, right? During the winter is probably not a good idea. Since we move slower as well. So let's wait. Let's wait for the winter to pass. Let's have people in the watchtowers. We need more houses actually. There we go. Speed it up. And now we need to make a scout. Or two. Alright, there we go. It is time. Hey, Lumen Luminex. Good to see ya. Let's bring the scouts. Yeah, we're playing Frozenheim. Having a lot of fun. This is my first time playing the game. I'm playing the campaign right now. And I am... I am actually really mad at myself oh, for my not way. playing it sooner. Because I bought the game like a long time ago when I saw it first being played by someone. I think by Raptor probably. And I'm really mad at myself for not <laughs> playing this game earlier myself. I'm having so much fun with it. As you wish. Alright, they don't even have walls. Wow. What a noob. They don't even have walls, dude. That's insane. All right. Let's 
go over here. Don't think they see me. Oh, we're under attack, are we? Almost. Oh yeah, they attacked one of my scouts. Oh, there's something out here. So this is just one of their settlements, but there are more settlements, I believe. Almost. Ooh, they have a bear statue. Oh, that looks pretty cool. Oh, there's a bear <laughs> defending it as well. All right, keep my scout there. Keep it safe. And all right, let's go attack. We have a massive army. Let's go for glory or Valhalla. Let's attack anything that's nearby. Yeah, let's go. Attack. Do all the abilities. All of them. Let none of them alive. Die. Let none of them live. Time's go, up. go, go, go. Ah, beautiful. As you wish. Did we get them all? I think we got them all. Oh, we can destroy their villages as well. Oh, we can destroy their buildings. Awesome. And now we can settle this area ourselves as well, I'm guessing. Oh, there we go. Now you can continue your expedition. I got it. Awesome. Now, I actually want to put my settlement there myself. If I can do that. I can probably do that. Odin is watching. Do not disappoint. Exactly. All right. All right thank you, scout. I want the scout to stay over here now. Make sure nothing comes from the back. Attack that bear. <laughs> there we go. Alright, easy. Search this place. The trophy of the Wood King is in our hands. Alright, All right, there's nothing else here. Cool. A little bit more here to explore. That was not a battle, that was a massacre. Exactly. Exactly. We had that easily. All right. That was so easy. Not even a challenge. Not even a challenge. Yeah, but now... Oh, it's a little dark. Can't see anything. There's something out there. There's something out there. There's a village, there's a gate. Let's actually first go this way. Ah, there we go, it's daytime again. Awesome. Did we lose a lot of men? We didn't even lose that many. We lost like five or something. Less. Upgrade those houses. Uh, oh, we don't have any more wood. Now let's get there. Let's get some wood from over there. Alright. And now I want to see if we can do this. Settlers. So we can send three settlers, looks like. 20 clothing, 15 steel, 50 wood, and three... Yeah, three, three settlers. Build outposts in the designated area. Um, there? How does that work? Oh, okay. We're making the settlers. I see. We're creating them first. All right. As you wish. 
And then we can build an outpost of that. I don't think we need anyone defending them. Because there's no enemies here in this area anymore. So we can just place them over there. There's no special resources like stone or anything like that. Oh wait, actually there is stone. And looks like there might be bog iron as well. Oh, perfect. Okay, so there are a couple of resources there. Not that much though. But it will be enough. And it's a good like checkpoint. It's a good checkpoint for my army to lay their head for the night. I got it. I got it. Alright, come on boys, hurry up. There we go. And let's build something here. Uh, towards the water right there. Actually, let's build it towards there. Towards those gates. There we go. We have a massive army defending it. <laughs> I wonder if we I wonder how it works with resources like will they take resources from the main from the main settlement all right yeah it looks like we share resources so it might take time to build stuff oh we have the obelisk and such now as well well, that's cool. Didn't realize we had that. Uh, okay, so this is just an outpost. So we cannot level up anything. Create area allowing to build outside of your settlement. Alright. Cool, cool. We can make more settlers from here. Yeah, so we just share resources, basically. That's fine. So we can build some extra houses here if we wanted to. We can um, we just make a nice palisade all the way around. And defend the area. Oh, really? I cannot... <laughs> really? I cannot connect it there? You're kidding, right? Oh, there we go. <laughs> That'll be annoying. Hey, Aura. Still streaming? Yeah, yeah, I'm having a lot of fun with this game. I don't want to stop. It's been five hours already? Wow. I was not expecting this to already... Uh to already be five hours well, let's put a gate right there and let's put a gate right there and also a gate down there one to the water one to my other settlement and one to the newer location that we haven't discovered yet And I guess these can stand inside for now. Guarding the guarding the gate. <laughs> Look at that. That's awesome. We can build some watchtowers. Oh, they're standing in the way. I got it. Watchtower there. Watchtower over there. Perfect.
Oh yeah, we're gonna have so much. <clears throat> Don't think this is uh, even necessary. But it's cool. It's cool that we can do it. So that's why I'm doing it. Let's go to the main settlement. Let's get some more houses. We need more people. Which means we're also going to need... Did we build that windmill yet? No, we didn't. Speed up, speed up time. We do need more food soon. Because we are expanding quite rapidly now. Let's get another one of those farmhouses out here. And let's get a windmill out here. Um, I don't actually have a lot of space for it. But I guess this will do. And let's upgrade all these houses. Does it still? Uh, it's still all in the in the in the water area. Looks like awesome. That is important. We're almost out of steel. <clears throat> There we go. That's good. A little farm there. Will give us some extra food. Get more houses. Let's get another farmhouse. One more. <clears throat> We're getting a lot of those farmhouses, but... We definitely do need them if we're going to expand so rapidly. There we go. Gonna need as much food as we can get. <clears throat> Guard all the watchtowers. Oh wait, actually I can just press that one. Yep, that's better. <clears throat> awesome. Right. Let's get ourselves a healer's hut. Let's get multiple healer's huts. So that, so that we always have... Units healing in this area. Upgrade it. There we go. So all my units can heal now. When they're close to these. Perfect. As you wish. 
not all the way because some of them died of course so it's not full health all the time all the time <clears throat> but that will be good um we could do more food buildings here as well Orchard, for example. Yeah, let's do a couple of orchards here. A couple of food buildings. Could place it somewhere. There we go. And over time it will give more and more. It's going to be really good. As you wish. And we should also build a well nearby. For which we need stone. And that we don't have anymore. Let's get these collector flags. And let's see if we can find some stone. There's stone right there. Let's make sure they go and collect that. Stone right there. And then we also have some bog iron right there, which we want to collect. Perfect. Wow, look at our village. Look how much it has grown. That's insane. Let's get some more people. Let's get an archer, shield bearer, and, and a berserker. Where's that scout? There we go. All right. Go this way. What are you? Uh, change combat. Sure, whatever. It's fine. On my way. Go back down there. There's probably lots to explore with the boats as well. I'm guessing. Haven't really done that yet. But we probably I should. Let's go with the scout first, though. Do some scout exploration. There's a bear there. An oh, angry what? bear. Run! <laughs> that bear was not happy with me. Almost. All right, get over here, bear. Where are you? <laughs> Easy. Scout this way. Go to the village first. What do you want? Um, our village is being raided by bandits. They're hiding in the woods. Please help us. Sure. Oh. <laughs> Wait, they just randomly attacked us? Okay. All right, awesome. Now let's get through here. Uh, the warden here recognizes us as the slayers of the White King. The only... They only nodded with respect and let us through. As you wish. All right, cool. By the gods, there's something off here. Like nature itself is something. Oh wow, that's a lot of animals. Right. Gotta be a bit more careful here, it seems. 
What's this? Ooh, a wolf then. All right. Another wolf then up there. We got a lot of resources here. Oh yeah, another one here. As you wish. Oh hey, a village. Um, concerned villagers. You say you come from lands far away. We would like to know your people better. Please protect our envoy and we will repay in kind. Sure. Right, protect the envoy. There we go. Almost. Now we protected the envoy. Now we can help the local fishermen. Our resources got plundered by bandits. Please help prepare us for the coming winter. Sure. Um, wait, didn't we just do that? I think I think we did do it. On my way. And now they want to give us that boat, I suppose. Is there anything back here? Ah, there we go. Anything we missed out here? Um, no, no, I think we got it all. Alright, so we can either use that boat, or I think we can just take our ships all the way out here. I got it. And we can do something from there. We already have one ship there. So let's actually build a shipyard, if possible. I got it. But this one can only carry two. Yeah, whatever, it's fine. On my way. Go this way. Go. And let's build a shipyard now that there's space. Yep. Cool, we can finally build a shipyard. Oh, this is gonna be cool. Alright, let's have them explore while we wait for everything to be built. We'll just have them go across there. All right, have people work there. And let's make the largest ship. The best sail attempt. There we go. Let's build it. Let's build all of it. We can also start building stuff over here once we get... If we get another settlement out there, we can do that. Same thing over here. Oh, the ship is already done. Awesome. And let's build another one. And let's go explore as well. Wait, why is he coming back? Shouldn't they go out and explore more? Oh, looks like we can go that way. Build another boat. I got it. Keep building boats. Get more archers. What are we lacking for making more archers? 
Oh, maximum troop size. Maximum troop size of 20, I see. And now we need more steel. All right. Yeah, so they are just exploring this area. And isn't there anything else then? Is this it? As you wish. Oh, really? That's it? Ah, oh, that is bad, man. I was hoping there would be more. Right, so we're basically <laughs> baking these boat for nothing. Oh, man. Okay. Well, we might as well make, um... <laughs> ah, never mind. All right. Uh, but why did I do this? This was useless. All right, let's bring this ashore here. Um... There we go. What's this? Right. Nothing interesting here. Nothing over here. Not another land we can go to and explore. Oh man. On my way. That is such a dick of disappointment. I was really hoping there would be uh, more on this water here. I was hoping we could make it to the water over here. That's why I built all these ships. Because I thought that would be um, possible. Wish. But I must have been uh, mistaken. Alright, let's put one ship over there, I guess. Put a ship over I there. Put a ship over there. And let's put a ship all the way over As there. You wish. And let's have the rest of these. Just... We'll walk our way there. On my way. Almost. All right, it doesn't always seem to work really well. Oh god, what are they doing? They're going through the... Okay, well, I guess that works. Um... Almost. Oh god. As you wish. Well... Oh no. I got it. Okay, that worked. All right. Perfect. This one can seem to move. As you wish. This one seems stuck. Okay, well, we lost a lot of troops there. <laughs> Due to um, the game being glitchy AF, apparently. Can I disband them or something? 
I cannot even disbanden the ship or anything either. So we are just stuck with those troops, but we cannot use them anymore. Oh, that's great. As you wish. Uh, that's just great. Okay. Well, let's go here. Let's go all the way out there. Get that boat. Looks like there are some resources here. Stone, for example. Low tide. Well, no, this one is just stuck in the rocks. <laughs> On my way. This one can just not move anymore, it seems. This one is just stuck in the rocks there. And this one... Oh. Oh, we got one of them out. Perfect. I've got it. Alright, this one is still stuck. Right. Yeah, that one is still stuck. Well, at least we got one more. Now, we can take that one boat. I got it! Oh. There we go. Um, do we have another boat? And another boat. All right, well, at least we have three units that we can get across. As you wish. At least we can explore now. All right, this will just bring us this way, looks like. Oh, there's the tree. There's the Yidrasil. Is there not more to explore? Why are they going over there? Uh, this must be the end of the level, I'm guessing. Is that it was the goal of this uh, campaign? Finding the tree of life. All right. All right, looks like we don't need any more troops then. The tales were real, the prophecies were true. Some of the rambling of the mad woman cast out of the village, but of great wisdom. No, oh, not some, okay. None of us ever thought we would lay eyes upon even the smallest sliver of the Yggdrasil. And yet here we were, touching the sacred sprout. This was the final step. Yeah, mission completed. Awesome. Whew, that was fun. These missions can take quite a long time if you wanna if you wanna level up and have a huge army it can take a long time looks like this is it the final step of our journey Erland is here his village fortified full of soldiers we cannot attack now we have to gather our strength elders say that normal attacks will fail Nevertheless, we must muster our forces and Erland will not sit idle. And after a time of defense, it will be a time to strike. Alright, cool. Well, I'm gonna save the game here. I'm going back to the main menu. So it says it's the final step. 
But I feel like there was a lot more, wasn't there? Yeah, these were just the, the three missions. The Fall, the Revival, Sacred Sprout, and the Reckoning. Yeah, so there's a lot more actually. So th okay, that's the final step of like the beginning of the game, the tutorial, I suppose. And then there's gonna be a lot more to do in the campaign. And then there's also a skirmish mode, survival mode, a city building mode. Wow, there's a lot to do. I've had a lot of fun playing this for five and a half hours. I was not expecting to play this game today for so long. But this has been so much fun. And I am uh, I think I'm going to be back with this maybe tomorrow. Um, or I will do more NO 1800. I don't know for sure. Because the day after that, I believe NO 1800 will have a new DLC. So I do want to play that again as well. Uh, but thank you guys so much for all the love and support. There were a lot of people watching this entire time. Thank you guys all for being here with me. Thanks for following me on Twitch. If you have not done that yet, then go ahead and click that button now. Thanks for everybody watching and subscribing on YouTube. I appreciate it. And thanks for the 71 likes, of course. That is amazing. And to all the members who are uh, helping me and supporting me a little bit extra. Helping out the channel. Uh, I appreciate it so much. Thank you for being here. And I hope you have a whole... Uh, and I hope you have a wonderful day or night. And I will see you all next time again.